<laughs> I was muted. What's poppin', ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to part three. Okay, I was like, oh man, I should know this. <laughs> We're not even in the double digits. Oh gosh. Yeah, welcome to part three. We here. <laughs> we'll see we'll see no promises all right where are we at let's uh let's do a little recap we took our first ride in an airship i think and we snuck aboard lind Skyrits. Yark. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I know what I'm about. What are the Hold on. Hold on. Wait a minute. Thanks. Oh my god. I forgot to reset Discord. This is... This is embarrassing. <laughs> okay, now say something. Something. Yeah, I got you showing up on, on capture. Okay, we're good. We're good. Wow. All right, okay. guys, let's let's reintro. What's up? My name's Tree. <laughs> Today I'm joined by my, my wonderful, totally not imaginary co-host, Max, the lurking <laughs> legend. Yo, what up? It's your boy, Max. Uh, the second time's the charm. Um... It's funny because they wouldn't have been able to hear me, but you can still see my little green circle popping up around my name over on the top right. So <laughs> yep. they know I'm not imaginary. Yeah. <laughs> but, it's uh, extreme are, gaslighting. Uh, yeah, it's cool. What if we did the whole stream like that? Oh, my, I would cry. <laughs> <laughs> Tree talks to his imaginary friend on stream for four hours. <laughs> that's the that's the April 1st stream. Y'all aren't ready. Oh my god. <laughs> That's hilarious. That's actually hilarious. But um Yeah, we are on uh on course to complete chapter 1, I'm thinking tonight Whoa. or today. This this uh, this session, this playthrough segment part 3 as Charizard Zolos. Um in case you are not um have, are not completely caught up, we we're doing a bit of a recap. Um, so Estelle and Joshua are bracers, which are basically like hunters in Hunter Hunter, kind of, and they just, or like ninjas in Naruto. They just kind of do like odd jobs and like uh, help, you know, people throughout different, like, uh, they're not like royal armies that are tied to one nation. They can just go do shit wherever they want, which is pretty cool. Her dad was a bracer who trained S. Charizard. The lovely lady that is accompanying them right now. And uh, her dad got called on an important mission in another nation and went on an airship that went missing. Dude, this is huge. I'm about to hit almost every enemy with this. Jeez, dude. Yeah, Estelle is crazy, actually. Um, but yeah, so Estelle and Josh are not actually related, but they've been raised together as siblings for the past five years. We only just recently started getting like uh info like or like 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 josh is now getting a little bit more open to reveal some of his actual backstory to estelle basically his sister because he's not been okay with talking about it for a really long time estelle's big luffy vibes uh and josh is just like me for real <laughs> but um their dad went missing with an entire airship that was hijacked by skyrits that's right we said it and um we are now in a Skyrit stronghold and are about to F some shit up. Yeah, so this is, this is pretty cool. Shout out to, uh, we got a three day trip. We got uh, we got Phil 
and we got SSJ8 Goaty in the chat. We love y'all. Thank you guys so much for showing up. Did you just say Goaty? Uh, Let's go. Goaty. Yeah. And, um, <laughs> yeah, this game the is gritty. I went to type. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what emoji is hitting the gritty, but I realized that when I click out of the game, the audio, or the whole game pauses. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> let's let's pretend I, I sent that in chat. <laughs> Hitting the gwitty. But yeah, um And also yeah, as Charizard solos. Up one in the first maybe. Although Josette's kinda cool too. I don't know. I don't think they're the bad guys. You said something at the end of last stream where you think we're gonna join them and now I've been like ruminating on that for like a week and I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> they just don't seem all that bad. It's the it's the government, I tell you. <laughs> he said, "Why does Skyrim sound like a slur when you say it, Vex? That's crazy." <laughs> <laughs> whoa, whoa! <laughs> you know, we were we were also cooking on April first streams where, uh, you know, we, I just forget to uh, share Discord audio, so you know, like I'm just talking to myself all stream. If if we were at a point where. Uh, we were showing cams on stream. I think it would be funnier to do the opposite where it's just us the whole stream and we don't share the game. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that's crazy. <laughs> Can I, how do oh, I open man. these chests, man? Why y'all gonna put chests in your game and if I can't open them? <laughs> They're not rendered slightly different. Remember, those are the things that you can interact with. You're a Legend of Zelda player. You know how this works. You played through Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Like, you know how this Dude. works. Like, those just so not are yellow you... ledges. Look at this. <laughs> this is the exact same room. Ain't no way. <laughs> oh, this one's rendered differently. I can open it. I found a scorpion. <laughs> Oh, oh man. I don't know what that means. So try and, oh, try and open the chest again. Just go and interact with it again. And apparently every chest has like a unique message when you look inside of an already emptied oh, chest. Oh, it's a new whip. Let's go, as Charizard Solo. You double dipper. Yeah, no, <laughs> no, but it's cool. So like every single there's actually an achievement in this game. We are definitely not going to get unless you want to go back to every single no, chest and click on them again. But that's OK, dude, the space is empty. It's like fully cleared out. <laughs> Cody, I'm not going to read that on stream, but the, <laughs> that's hilarious. Oh, my goodness. Uh, because it's very it's, EP oh, here, here makes you want to cry, doesn't it? The empty chest. <laughs> Since uh, you know yes. we're, we're on that sky pirate theme, say it with the hard yar. Ain't no way. Nothing. That's nothing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you guys missed it last time. Estelle is like a pro um, fisher lady, and uh, you caught like some you caught some salmon, right? Um, yeah. And Josh was Josh was big sad boy and gave her a book. And we read like it, this game has entire like dozens of recipe lists and a bunch of different ingredients that are unique to each encounter and mob that you take out. And they also this book has written or this uh, this game has written entire books into its like like uh, they're like key items and things that you can pick up or buy at later points and stuff like that. The this game is insane. This game is built so different. And it's like we were baffled that this is only 20 bucks on Steam. It's crazy. Yeah, I this is. I. Hold on, I'm not ready to rush in yet. Uh, I want to go explore this way. Shoot, he's going to make me. Dang it. OK, uh, we're yeah, soft locked. I, so, soft locked. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, wait, I shouldn't. I should save. Sorry, Josh. Don't mean to like, you know, Dirtle, you know. <laughs> but yeah, there's like the Car the Carnelia books, um, and then there's like the the Hundred Year War history text, historical text. Then there's like newspapers that come out regularly. This shit is dense. It's crazy. And like, I'm I'm somebody who loves cooking, so the fact that there's just dozens upon dozens of like, and some of them seem to be like unique to regions. Uh, like recipes 
and like each of the different like mobs has like different like edible parts that you can get as loot drops and stuff like that. <laughs> Dylan, like Ukraine for real. I'm not ready to rush in yet. Oh my god. <laughs> Cody, bro. <laughs> He's bringing the spice to the chat today. Oh, dude. Y'all ready for this? Look <laughs> at that. <laughs> It's like all but one. Yo, yes. Also, yeah, combat. One Piece fans and Trails fans. This is the realest Venn diagram. It is. It is. It's like, it's shockingly overlapped. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, we were put on by King Recon when Tree and I did a stream with King Recon. Uh, it was like about a month ago now at this point, right? Um, we were talking about just, you know, peak fiction in general, as you do when you're in the company of the coach. And, uh, he had told both of us, this is like his absolute most like cherished, you know, storyline. And that it was kind of like playing through like your traditional, like every traditional battle shonen, but in a series of like 12 plus video games. And so we're on the first one, uh, by coach's recommendation. That was so cool. Is yeah, that the first time we watched was, this guy? That was the first time. Uh, Olivier Solos. This dude is crazy. I mean, S. Charizard Solos is the name of this stream, but <laughs> Olivier is, you know, he's pretty him too. Do I dual strike someone? I feel like I should. I, should. I don't think you need to. Should you save your craft points? No, I, I had over 100, so it's like I still have oh. my ult. Yeah, I get you. <laughs> Good thing these guys don't do a lot of damage, but they have a lot of health. That's like a. It's oh. an, I, I like the way that this all scales. God dang. Like instead of that one. Um, instead of that one treasure chest encounter, I don't think anything's felt like legitimately impossible. You know what I mean? And you even beat that eventually. Uh, you said, man, just enjoy. I play the ones that were out in 2023, 2022, and it, and it hit like... It said, oh yeah, so I mean, yeah, it's... Um, so far, we are extremely into the first game. It's like, it's so dense. Like, I cannot gas it up enough. There's entire books inside of this, like... PSP game and like I can't wait until we get to like the actual like console ones and like Dude. into what's more current This is like I can only imagine how much more hype it gets, but we're loving the story um, Estelle is just like tree and uh, uh, Josh is just like me for real I know there's like but 12 yeah, games, but some, <laughs> somewhere deep down. I hope that we never have to let these uh, characters go yeah, I have a sneaking suspicion that we might. <laughs> I know. I, think, I don't know. I think uh, Recon said that it was like in trios. So like maybe we'll get three games with them before we move on. But I don't know. Look, she's yeah, surrounded. Uh... That means she's going to ult. <laughs> yeah, it's like we have absolutely been enjoying. This is, this is such a great so far we we, don't, we can't really speak on the full series but we can assume but this is just such a great standalone title right here i think we spent like six hours plus in the prologue yes. doing all the side quests yeah it was it was a hot minute look at her go dude oh shoot i just realized how low she is that's probably fine oh my god only one dropped all right we're <laughs> and it stills your healer. I I messed up. Ha <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> it's fine. I mean Olivier is a bard. He should have some sort of Oh no, I think we went over this last time. He doesn't, does he? <laughs> Homie has a gun. <laughs> he could like maybe heal with bullets. You're playing Dragon's Dogma too, and you're like, my arrows heal now. <laughs> like <laughs> Dragon's Dogma 2 is phenomenal. 
Yeah, I was gonna say, do you want to pop off on how that's consumed your life lately, uh, Tree? Oops. Uh, yeah, so, like, I, I'm not typically one to enjoy, like, I know, I'm playing an RPG, so I... <laughs> enjoy the show. Jesus. Uh, dead, dead, me and wild in chat. Uh, yeah, I'm not typically one to enjoy, like, an RPG to a lot of extent, because I... I struggle with like ADHD, so my attention span is it it's a struggle, you know. That being said, uh like Dragon's Dogma has a bunch of stuff that I'm not necessarily a fan of, but the way it's handled in the game and the like the core gameplay loop like bypasses that to such an extreme degree. Uh it it's like Oh my god. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I'm sorry, she just beat the crap out of that guy. Not like, Sky Bandit, Aaron. No, Aaron, a Aaron with the two A's. Uh, <laughs> but it's like, uh, look, you look at Skyrim, and I, I explained it in a way that it's like, Skyrim is kind of, I'm, man, I don't want to say this on the street. I don't like Skyrim. It's bland, it's boring, the world isn't very interesting, and maybe it's because I've played, like, it's the fifth game in the series, so maybe it's like, I'm like, oh yeah, it's the it's the same stuff as always. It sure is mm. sure as Elder Scrolls. Also, she's got some power behind those whips, man. As Charizard does solo, like we love to see it. <laughs> uh, but it's like the world. It I don't like the. I, I mean, sometimes it's okay. That power fantasy where like you're him and you're walking around the world and you're just like you beat everything because you're the chosen one but like the in retrospect or i guess in in contrast dragon's dogma has like you're just a guy that was chosen by the dragon out of respect and if you don't stand up and do your destiny and fight the dragon he'll pick another guy like and take that into combat where it's like every encounter feels kind of like a dark souls boss i forgot to pick up estelle oops and it, it, it's like, <laughs> I feel like I've earned every encounter and it's not just like handed to me, you know? Take that. Yeah, I get that. It's in, it's from what I've seen, uh, you know, we've been hanging out in my Discord, uh, link in the description and in Tree's uh, Discord and also link in the description. And I've been watching him like play a lot of Dragon's Dogma too. It's not really a game that I think I would be too interested in, but I mean, yeah, if you like like Monster Hunter, like Baldur's Gate, Skyrim type of stuff, and like Shadow of the Colossus type stuff. I mean, definitely uh, look into it. It's I, I remember when I saw like a lot of gameplay of the first one like forever ago. I was like, this is interesting, but um, it's not really my style of game, but it looks like it's been a lot of fun for you and it's been enjoyable for me to like see you uh, get really mad at the AI of your of oh your my pods. God. <laughs> and, and it's never been an issue before. So typically like it's not multiplayer, but instead you get to summon pawns and they they can be like your friends can make like so you you make yourself and then you make a sidekick and that's your pawn, that's your main pawn. Then you can send your main pawn out into the world and other people can summon them. So I'm running around with a few of my friends' pawns and then of course my own and uh, my character. And it's never been a problem because when someone goes down, one of your pawns will bring them to you so you can pick them back up. I just got a class that allows me to shoot an arrow and resurrect them. And now I have my pawns still trying to bring me their bodies and making it like 10 times harder to hit. And it's like, if you're going to bring them to me, why do I even have this ability? And it's I, I feel like that's just not great in design. But, you know, it sometimes it'd be like that. Do I do I have a res? We speak about how peak this music is, too. <laughs> like this is like I love this like bop. little this little ditty yeah. I do I have no way to pick up a Stell right now? Are we for real? You mentioned last time that you were gonna go buy like items and things like that, and then you're like, nah, let's just go advance the story. Well, I guess Estelle's dead. Let's advance the story. <laughs> It's gonna be a really weird next couple of games without her, but <laughs> no, oh my gosh. Uh, 
but yeah the dragon's dogma feels extremely derivative of like the more modern zeldas like breath of the wild or tears of the kingdom in a sense that it's all about exploration and it's 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 like exploration and combat and how you like engage with the environment so the combat itself is kind of like eh but and it's like i play it like devil may cry and dark souls so my my I'm big on combat, but the combat is very lackluster. It's like I press attack, I can climb. It's like it can be Shadow of the Colossus. I can hit weak points, uh, but you know, you get that in everything where it really shines is like how I look around the world and I'm like, OK, I there's water over there. I'm going to stagger this guy. I'm going to pick him up and throw him into the water. So he insta dies. That'll take care of him. And then like Oh God, there's harpies. Let's go into a building and hold off all of the ground units as they funnel in. And like, it's the, it's like spatial awareness. Yeah, know, you have like the, the world as a combat element. Yeah, it's, it's really cool. Oh, and like furthering on, like in Elder Scrolls, like I feel as the Dovahkiin, I feel very disconnected. In this game, I feel very grounded and very connected with everything that's going on. And it feels very rare for a game to do that these days. If that makes sense. Or at least like a big like AAA title, you know? It's always like high power fantasy shit. It's it's weird. It's just a different experience and I wasn't expecting to enjoy it as much as I have been. Uh, that being said, I also picked up Rise of Ronin, which uh, I'm streaming over on my channel twitch.tv slash tree the wolf and and it's like it's nice but it, and it's also like fine-tuned to everything that I like in a game like it's got souls like combat it's got essentially bonfires it's samurai stuff I got but it's also like cowboy era so I have a katana and a gun and it's so cool but like I still find myself gravitating more to dragon's dogma and it, it feels very, it feels like Baldur's Gate 3 did, where it's like, it's not a game I feel like I would typically play, but I can't stop playing it, and I can't stop thinking about it when I'm not playing it, you know? Am I in a maze? What is happening? Ah, <laughs> that's a big thing. Oh, I can interact with something. Is that a vacuum? It's a... <laughs> what? There's an orbital vacuum <laughs> with a notebook inside. Let's read it. Story time, y'all. Yo, there's like no recipes that can just up Estelle. That's kind of crazy. Like, if there is, I I haven't made one. Oh. I can't. It's it's a key item. It says nonsensical rows of numbers are inside a chest. Bear assault. The chest is empty because you emptied it. Funny how that works now. <laughs> Crazy. Uh, do you think bear assault is a gun? It is. I'm so smart. Look at me, guys. <laughs> Brother. You know what I should do? Dang. Yeah, that's what we just found out. Yehus, uh, I, I'm hoping that I'm, pr I'm just going to say your boy uh we we just found out uh that there's like chest messages and there's like apparently a whole achievement for getting all of the the chest messages for like when you interact with an empty chest we're definitely not getting that achievement but it's fun to check them out now because <laughs> we missed like all the ones in the prologue and man was the prologue something else <laughs> like i was just gonna ignore that big guy and hopefully that one. Christ. Oh boy. This is a maze. That's just a guy. A guy in a room. 
Honestly, that's kind of you're just like me for real. If you think about it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't. I don't know why I said that. That was a weird thing to say. Wait, what? Did I backtrack? He's in the lost woods, yo. What? Hold on. Or or does this hallway just look identical? Yeah, I like uh, Recon did tell us like the detail is crazy. Why hus? Okay, don't worry. <laughs> Thank you. But um, I love that. Like this is a PSP game, and when you walk by, like we were noticing, like when in in the like the first bits when you go into like the Roland sewers, and like when you walk by torches, your shadows like change, and like the lighting, and, like just like little details like that, as well as like cool character moments, and like it's just good writing like all over the place. It's uh, it's it's super crazy. We've been we cannot guess the series up enough so far from what we've seen, and we're in chapter one of the first game. I think we're like what like eighteen some odd hours into game gameplay at this point, right, Tree? Yeah, something like that. There's just so many side quests and stuff like that. Yo, shout out to JJ John Sherrod on all social media. Yes, like the stream. Thank you, brother. Uh, good to see you. Good to see you. Uh, I'm so. Uh, I want to be. I want to be on your side about the whole top man debate that you and Dak have going on. And um, he's pretty cool, but I don't know if he's number one. I don't think he. I don't think he deserves all the slander, though. I'm. I'm right there with you, kind of. <laughs> Um, oh my goodness. Yeah, I don't know like what are good ways to res characters without like an inn or a hotel, so I guess I'm gonna look that up really quick. Dude. Times 10 on five people? As Charizard Solos. What are you doing, Rosie? My dog's just rolling on the floor. Love that for you. <laughs> Dang. So Lucas came in here to be uh, like, yeah. <laughs> just like Yo, salty. Lucas, like, welcome crazy. to the chat, brother. Can't believe you came out swinging like that. <laughs> JJ, JJ, like, like I said, I'm not down in top man. I just I don't put him as my favorite. Like for me, it's the Itsumare. That thing looks freaking sick, but I'm not going to like slander top man i think he's cool too i think there's room for everybody to have a favorite <laughs> ba, 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 ba. <laughs> he said i've been here bro well we appreciate you showing up and uh for lurking that's normally my job but no, we see you lucas <laughs> <laughs> It's like a, I don't know how to describe it. It's like a really nice surprise at how good it is. Well, I feel like maybe not. This era of gaming was chocked full of good stuff. I just love this combat. So this combat music so much, dude. <laughs> that is the, uh, it's kind of true, Cody. Every uh, Celestial Dragons can catch hate from anybody. Hmm. <laughs> oh, man. This is, uh, I can't believe we, we, it's me. I'm the one playing. I can't believe I let Estelle down. Um, so couldn't you take some of her orbaments and put them on to like Olivier temporarily and like then if, if does she have like I don't know if the tear bomb thing can like he, like up people or if that can only heal them from above zero. You know what I mean? Yeah. Couldn't that like I don't know. Hypothetically, could you do that? Maybe. <laughs> uh, Lucas, I don't think Lucas it'll is res her, upset. Yeah, I get you. Oh man. Yeah, they gotta have like an orbment charging station or whatever, like somewhere around here, right? 
you'd think, or an inn of sorts. I don't know if they have an inn in a Sky Bandit stronghold, but they might have well, they... an Orbiment recharging station. Or at least, uh... They gotta have, not, not like an inn, but like beds, you know? Like, where do they sleep? Wow, their dad disembarked the airliner right before they took off. So, uh, man. What up? But I have to fight like all these dudes. With no. a party member down. No, these are the people I just saved. I'm looking at the. I, it, <laughs> when I'm in a cutscene like this, I, I guess if we yeah. can call it that, my mouse disappears. <laughs> but someone in that, the person in the back with the the bag. I'm curious if it'll be like a mini shop here. Um. So JJ, I'm pretty sure I followed you. If you could confirm, I searched John Sherrod on TikTok and I found one result there was no bio or no profile picture so i think it was you but uh i'm pretty sure i followed you jj if you can confirm that'd be great <laughs> wow i just had an intrusive thought and i'm gonna share it with y'all circle twerking Ain't no way. That is all. <laughs> Yo, yeah, turn off your mic. Mute your mic. You are done. Yeah. It's <laughs> crazy, dude. Um, I was the first. Let's go. Okay. That feels amazing. Uh, we love that for me. Give me just a second. Now that I know it's the correct account, I could, uh, I'm gonna promo JJ in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Cause that's the homie. Dude. Bro, is there... I cannot believe I walked into this place with Estelle down. Like, do I really? <laughs> I'm like... He said bleach my ears. That's <laughs> hilarious. Bleach my ears. <laughs> Oh man. No, I mean like for real, there there has to be a um there has to be a recharging station somewhere. Okay, that that seems like an important way to go. Oh, you know what I'm gonna do? It's uh We're gonna heal up. Yeah, at least you have Olivier and you're not just having to do this with uh, you know, just Josh and S Char's order. God forbid. You know, what if S Charizard did in fact solo? Wouldn't that be some like Oda level foreshadowing if we <laughs> named the stream that? And she actually had to. <laughs> what are these pots? Please. Oh, a reviving bulb. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> and Jesus Yo. wept for the Renobo. This dude manifested. <laughs> This dude manifested the shit out of that. Yo, W's in chat, everybody, that this man just did that. All That's right. crazy. Here's the deal. We're going to save. <laughs> Eavesdrop and then raid the room. Not yet. That seems... That's like the boss area. Let's go check out this boulder thing. Yo, Fritz. Uh, we, we appreciate you showing up, brother. I don't know if, like, is, is this an ironic Twitch command <laughs> or, like... Oh, this music gives me Mystery Dungeon. Like, <laughs> oh my Why god. said, uh, imagine you get the reviving bomb just to find an orbiment station. <laughs> no! <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> Was this a secret tunnel? Secret tunnel. It was. Secret tunnel. Oh, and it's sorry. basically telling me we gotta go back. Dang, I'm glad I could push that rock. It's time, boys. We're gonna go uh be crass. Dawn. Is that gonna like Josette's 
Hey, he's like Josette's dad or something. They got the same color hair. It's a. It's a oh my God, what's his name? Bahahaha! Bahahaha! Man dark. Yeah. <laughs> a boy named Sue. <laughs> Don't get careless, bro. We haven't got the money in hand yet. Yeah, we'll need to uh, let the hostages go. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all are tripping in the chat right now. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> I understand, JJ. Yeah, uh, oh, that's what man. I'm saying. You're welcome on my channel anytime, JJ. And we'll show them how it's done. We'll make the... the we'll rank the Marines great again. Again. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I got your back always, JJ. Hold up. I take it back. I think these two are going to abandon the Sky Pirates. Okay. Yeah. This I guy just said we're, I, gonna, I, we're about to kill all these men, women, and children. And Josette's like, hold up, what? Yeah, I actually and, like Josette. Kyle's a oh, punk. He just, I said, mean, he just said he's against killing the hostages, though. Yeah, but he's kind of a punk. Josette's cool, though. Um, Tree, we got a hydration check in chat, so just uh, make sure you make sure you're on that. Looking around frantically. <laughs> hold up. <laughs> Where I know. Oh no, I finished my drink. Hold up. Hold up. <laughs> well, you know what? Just for you, all of the gas stations in my area stopped selling G fuel, and I've been saving this one for a special moment. I'm cracking it. It's the Spyro Dragon Fruit. My last one. It's crazy. Uh, he said, <laughs> Cody said one thing. I'm not a big fan of the government. That's hilarious. One thing. I, um, I don't know why. I just gotta say, well, it does. Okay, stop. <laughs> while while I'm on stream now, and anybody else who disagrees is in the chat, oh I just have God. to say, that's crazy. Child abuse. Wow, the knockback on that too. Uh, but I just have to say, Saul is one of my favorite characters and i love him but if we're ranking him as a marine he defected disobeyed orders and is a bad marine if you're gonna put saul in s tier and say that it's because he's doing what marines should be doing then you can't have sakazuki in a tier put that man in the trash because you can't that's like uh, there's not a there's not a cohesive criteria at that point didn't, just saying didn't sakazuki also disobey orders and charge after ace and luffy and also you, you know, know they, to... they said that saul was trying to defend the people and, and things and, and that like that he wasn't okay with killing innocents and sakazuki dropped a freaking like you know cannonball on, and like burnt down an entire ship of women and children so yeah, um, just saying, Sakazuki should have been in the trash in that tier list if Saul was an S tier. And if you wanted to keep Sakazuki where he was at, then, um, you know, you absolutely should have had Saul in the trash tier. Even though he's one of my top favorite characters, he's a bad Marine. I think there should have uh, been a, been a my pre stream box. talking about what does it mean to be a Marine? You know, what is what does that really <laughs> mean? What is that? Mimine? Yeah, but instead, instead, we were just picking and choosing our favorite characters, I guess. I don't know. That's cool if that's what you want to do. But they set a criteria and I was sticking to it in the chat and I got slandered for it. I got your back, JJ. Yo, they just called Estelle a bimbo airhead brute. That's like I'm a fan I, of I don't I'm a I've fan of Sengoku. This. I think Sengoku I thought you said Son Goku, and I was like, what are you talking about? I mean, about? him too. <laughs> no, him too, but, uh, <laughs> but no, I mean, um, I'm a fan of Son Goku for the most part. I think that it'd be really, really interesting if we got more on him, but just the Roshinante connection, the moment he had with Law um, is, is enough for me to feel like he is probably redeemed in what he said to garp you know at marine ford and things like that he's had a lot of really solid Yo, moments but we garp, still look at this man smile <laughs> <laughs> that's all give us some rice crackers yeah oh my god he's got a cannon a mortar <laughs> that's crazy 
And I like my sport bloody. He's Yo, a F this dude. Oh my god. I was about to say, I bet he speaks like a water person, and then I had a, like a war flashback to last week. <laughs> hmm. That man His has boss the, music is also peak. He has the most health I've seen in an enemy so far. Kyle is weak to things, but the other two aren't. Uh, yeah, I agree, uh, JJ. Like, like I'm saying, man, we got some good takes, JJ. Let's uh, let's let's rank the Marines great again, again. <laughs> And I see what you're saying, uh, it, you know, what up, Will? We see you in the chat. I see what you're saying, Cody, absolutely. Um, I think that, yeah, there's... There's a lot more to come from Sakazuki, but as we see it right now, the, this man is... Uh, it, I'm, I'm not saying that I think that he's trash as a character or anything like that either. I'm just specifically stupro Cody stuff. Um, I'm just saying that, like, if you're going to put Saul as an S tier Marine and ranking him this by how they are as Marines, definitively, that means that Sakazuki has to be in the trash tier or vice versa. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, like, you got to pick one. I get it. <laughs> hmm. She has enough. Wow, I forgot that. I Whoa, HP, EP, and you know, the other one. Wow. Craft points. Yeah. That's what we're going to call it. <laughs> yeah. My God. <laughs> I think that Sengoku had been put in a lot of difficult situations and he felt like he was. So I see him as a foil to Garp, and that Garp never wanted to get to the level of Admiral or higher, like Fleet Admiral, where Sengoku had to have been. And so Sengoku did ascend from Vice Admiral to Admiral and then eventually to Fleet Admiral in lieu of Garp, maybe. So that he's because he said that somebody has to be able to say no if it gets to a point where it's too far. And somewhere along the way, maybe he just got uh, a little bit wrapped up in things and understood that it's bigger than what he's able to control and he's just a pawn and things like that. Like Kizaru was even like looking pretty upset when he was like, I'm just a cog in the machine type vibe and things like that. So I think Sengoku went in with the purest of intentions as a Garp-esque character. And then there was a level of futility that he witnessed in the, in the awareness of what the world's powers truly are. And of the erasure that was a, a you know, uh, but yeah, I think that Goku is a phenomenal character, and there's a lot more to him and things like that. He's just put in so many difficult situations where he had to act in a certain ac accordance, uh, otherwise be persecuted to the highest degree. And I think that there's even a potential of the interaction with him and Dude. Saul. He was being so abrasive with Saul because he knew that Saul being a Will of D member and Sengoku knowing what that means, probably, uh, was like, if I am this harsh on him right now, he will leave and prevent causing any more trouble for himself in the future. And this is the only chance that Saul has of survival. I like Sengoku that much that I'd be willing to even give that to him. But I know that's a stretch. Vex, I'm aiming for the damage ceiling. <laughs> Someone's been naughty. Why do they do her sprite like that? <laughs> like, I was just saying. She's buffed and on a 10 times crit. 420! <laughs> Yo, praise it. <laughs> That's wild. That's hilarious. Whoa, okay, that was actually correct. We love Olivier. Oof. Oh, okay. That's that wasn't that much damage, though. And then she's about to get a buff to what is that? Uh, Sephith up or what? That's 10 times. So now I'm gonna actually instead pop his alt and take the 10 times on the boss. Man, this combat is so cool. It really is. 
pretty good amount. Yeah, no S Charizard. Yeah, so, but... sometimes sometimes I have really base takes. Uh, sometimes I don't, apparently. But I appreciate you, brother, in the chat. Um, I really hope that we do get like that amount of depth from Sakazuki, and I think that we will. Like the parallels between him and Dragon, both being born in the same year, I think that you know Oda's cooking there, and we just gotta kind of let it let it marinate a little bit longer. I'm upset that we have to wait so long on such pivotal characters to a degree, but at the same time, I really know that it's gonna pay off. Like uh, Oda can take as much time as he wants. Yeah, but that's a really mm. good question, Cody. I could only imagine. I really hope that we get more flashbacky bits. I know a lot of people are like being like, no, don't say that. Don't say that. No, I think that they would really, really do a lot to add to some of the um, the, the older generation, even though like obviously this isn't their era. And like Rayleigh has made a good job of like showing us that, you know, even Shanks has kind of showed us like this isn't even his era anymore. Although I think you know, we might see more from like, we're definitely going to see more from him. But um, like the folks like Sengoku and Suru and uh, some of the older interactions that we could have got, like Kong. How realistically are we going to get anything from Kong at this point in the story? I don't know. So, I mean, I think that that, that would have to be in flashbacks potentially. It's so close. <laughs> That's crazy. Wait, do I get craft points? Shoot. Ah, shucks. All right, regular attack it is. Let's go. Huge. We got there. Uh, okay. That was crazy. I have, I have not yeah. been present to the chat because of this fight. What? <laughs> it's cool, man. I've been I've been vibing. So what have y'all been, <laughs> been talking about? We've just been talking about we've been talking about Marines uh, <laughs> and uh, and Lotus slow burning. Splashbacks. Oh my god! I think that like the God Valley stuff was like really great, and I loved everything about the Kuma flashback. But I think that people are. Uh, they're 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 thinking that they I, I don't know a lot of people are wanting more present events and I can understand that it was a little bit jarring being away from the straw hats and egghead oh. situation for as long as we were. Oh my god! Yes, yes, Cody, you should. As Charizard stroked I... her whip and smiled at Josette. <laughs> <laughs> no, anything but that. <laughs> Crazy. But uh, I think that like it's fine, like the Straw Hats, uh, I know that like there was a, a lot of complaints that like we were getting too much attention paid to Law and Kinemon and other characters that were traveling with the Straw Hats for like the past like 12 years almost or something. And so we didn't oh get God. a lot of like central Straw Hat interaction moments and things like that. But yeah, I think that Oda can do a really, really great job with flashbacks, which he showed us in the Kuma flashback, which he showed us in the Odin flashback and things like that. Shout out to my boy Cody. I know Odin's your guy. And so like, um, but I think that if they're done well enough, they could literally make this take the story to a completely another level. I don't think they're needed, but I just really hope we get them. And I think that a lot of people are just wanting to power through, focus on just the straw hats and get a bunch of like impact panels and like fights and stuff like that i'm like i'm here for the story <laughs> like that's 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 what my favorite thing about one piece dude this man lost all of his memories about doing all this stuff crazy he's just a pawn <laughs> She said, not again. <laughs> That's such a bright, bright screen. I know it's it's painting my eyes. Dude, there was there was a treasure chest in there and I was like, bro, get it, get it before you leave. Like... I made it. Yeah, out I of think um, 
I think based off of what we got from like the whole Kuma situation, that once we get um once we get Dragon's like actual backstory and things like that, I think he is going to be potentially top one characters. And I like I don't know. I'm saying potentially. And I honestly kinda hope so. But at the bare minimum, like Kuma entered my top three. Uh, and he was at a modest placement beforehand. I think Dragon but, like, I think Oda's been like Cook and Dragon for the long haul. If you really think about it, like clearly Dragon and Kuma have the same ideals when it comes to like their children. And Wait, okay, so you're in you're in Nebel Valley now, right? I don't know. I'm I'm in the save menu, first and foremost. <laughs> uh, yeah. No, this is where the, yeah, the giant the foots are. Yeah, you're in you're in Nebel Valley. Okay. Um uh, I was gonna so say I think I would Dragon. Oh, I'm just saying Oh. While you're here, I would recommend you go to the tower. Oh, that's right. Yes, before you go back, because I think you could miss that side quest if you if you don't go to the tower. Oh, boy. This place is a disaster. A chest? Um, yeah, I think I think Dragon has been a, a slow, a slow burn. But if he has the same ideals about his children as Kuma, then I'm very interested in learning why. Like it. I feel like it's more than just I don't want Luffy to be in danger, so I separated myself from him. And I feel like it has to be more than that. Yeah, and like I've I've had a long conversation, you know, with SSJ Cody in the chat here about like Gene Freaks and like his uh, the way he can be perceived and the way that it is if you actually like pay attention and read a little bit in between the lines of things and whatnot and like I failed originally to see the complexities of well, the entirety of the complexities of Jing Freaks, but I can see Dragon being even like way, 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 way more fulfilling than even that, uh, because I do like Jing as a character now. I used to just think he was a bum, but uh, Cody kind of enlightened me a little bit on it. And I mean, I still think he's kind of a bum, but like he's cool as fuck still, you know, oh, fuck. I just tried to F bum, whatever. Um, but, um, we're gamers. That's a game. Uh, let's word. see. We're like an hour in, you know, I think we should be good. But, um, I think that with dragon, <sighs> it's going to be a lot more gratifying than even that. You know what I mean? Dude, there's a house. Oh, uh, bro. Do you get to rest? Let's go. Oh my God. <laughs> this is a free heal. You don't have to pay for anything. Like. That's amazing. Okay, so I think you should definitely explore around here a little bit more. Uh, this is it. I can't go. I can't leave. I have to go back into the base. Uh, I think I yep. have to go to the ship and stop them. I thought that they were going to leave out the secret exit. Oops. Oops, all berries. Wait, no, not this way. The other way. Yeah, that's what we've been noticing uh, is that the side stuff is like legitimately important because like so much of the world makes a lot more sense. Like when you do like all of the side quests and stuff like that. Um, and it's also just giving me like, I don't know, I, like, I, I love Freerun and it's giving me mad Freerun vibes because Himmel wanted to do all of the side quests and help all of the people and stuff like that. And we just like him for real. I still need to finish that. I might do that after stream. That's what I might spend my day doing. It's so good, bro. Oh my god. Not optimal yeah, I think we've, optimization. Uh, That's why we're I think running we've a only guide. Missed, <laughs> yeah, I think we've only missed one actual side quest so far, but there's like three that are potentially on the chopping block right now if we don't like, you know, hit all our P's and Q's, right? What I will say is definitely don't go past like Crone Gate or whatever it's called, Crone Pass, until you have uh, completed some of these side quests, because that's when a whole bunch of them will expire. Got it. <laughs> you uh, welcome. You know, if, if you think all this is peak, we we appreciate you joining us, brother. This is a uh, this is how we be every Thursday. Uh, I've actually also got um, I've got coach coming onto my channel this Sunday. We had to push the date back a little bit because he's got a thing on Friday, which we were originally trying to plan, but uh, it's all good. No worries. This Sunday at 
um, 7 or 8 p.m. Uh, CST. I forget which one we... Or it's like, I think it's 6 CST. Um, King Recon himself is going to be on my channel. Link in the description if you want to go f subscribe to me, Vexus D Lurking Legend. And he is going to, strive to, de to describe to me what he would want to be in the world of One Piece. And I'm going to build that as a One Piece D&D character live. So that's going to be pretty fun. I did one with Dax Sake not too long ago, last break week. And then I've got one that I'm planning for next break week and the next break week since we've got three in a row. Just uh, a, a bunch of goaded content to help us get through this hiatus together. But yeah, if you are a big fan of Coach, um, he's gonna he's gonna be on my channel on uh, on Sunday. So make sure you check that out. The stream is already scheduled. If you want to turn notifications on, but big friend of the channel, we we vibe with uh, with Coach hard. We were talking for hours about rebirth before oh my God, rebirth dude. actually dropped. Yeah, <laughs> I've I've been in contact with him. Uh, I've actually I've actually finished the theory on how thirteen clouds can exist. Uh, I I haven't talked to you about that yet, Vex. Oh but my I, God! I've I I've actually made it viable. It is possible for there to be thirteen clouds, and I've I've pieced together how. It's a. Uh, it's so good. Stella is so cracked. I'm sorry. AOE just get, she just crit on all of those. <laughs> like, um, but yeah, I I really I was memeing when I was like saying that theory originally to you. I'm so glad that you were able to roll with it, and there was like nuggets in there that you were like that's that's fantastic, bro. Honestly, it's crazy because all of it comes from remake, rebirth, and original. Like I'm not even using the the deep cuts, the yeah. like compilation stuff. What am I? Who's attacking? As Charizard. Um. Also, Tree. I don't know if you saw because I don't know if you are big into like the Hidden Island, but he's also a goat, uh, and he plays like a lot of melee and a lot. He's been doing uh, a whole bunch of other like types of not like not just One Piece related streams lately, but he had. Um, he had King Recon on for uh, like just a discussion stream not too long ago, and they were talking about video gaming for quite a while. He brought up Trails again, and FF7 was like a huge uh, topic, and uh, uh, Hidden was talking about how one of his favorite games that he likes to you know gush about, and he always recommends to everybody is uh outer wilds and oh, so he yeah he's oh my uh, god he he was saying like literally the exact same things as you is like i can't tell you much about it because like it's a spoiler and it's a game that you can only experience once and things like that and coach was just like dude. yeah yeah i've been hearing about it and like i was just like dude was he's me, oh my god man. he's just like it tree for me. real like <laughs> Oh, yeah, my so god. it's a. Um, I need. Oh my it's, god, um, he, It's a really goaded stream. I'll send it to you, and I highly yeah. recommend you like check it out. Um, but yeah, um, Hidden is an absolute goat in the community. I'm trying to get him on uh, soon eventually as well, because I think he would do really good at um, you know making a character. But uh, he's just been super busy doing his own stuff. He's been trying to hit 100k, which I think he's absolutely gonna do it. But. Um, yeah, Hidden's a goat, and it was really cool just hearing these two dudes. Like, uh, so they spoke on Melee, they spoke on Kingdom Hearts in Good depth, stuff. they spoke on like Final Fantasy VII, they spoke on uh, Outer Wilds and Trails and stuff like that. So I think that you definitely would vibe with at least like a good like 40 minute chunk of this stream. But um, yeah, so I'll send you that. It was like the whole time I was like, dude, Tree would eat this shit up. Like, I'm I might have to reach out to Hidden. I, I've watched a few of his videos. Uh, and I really like the the vibe of the guy. Yeah, he's chill. He's super chill. Dang man, outer wild. So it's like that. I have I have when I say like, oh, this is in my top ten games. It's like that's for like me personally. But when I talk about like, I think top ten games of all time. I think Outer Wilds is up there. I it is it is like top three. Uh, I think like Journey Damn. is up there like oh my god dude games that do more than it's not just a game it's not just an experience but a game that like elicits a feel out of you i think outer wilds might actually be the number one like i that is such a oh my god dude 
it's so good it's like i i walked into it going oh it's like majora's mask and then i left going i understand quantum physics and <laughs> what is the meaning of life like why are oh we here? like <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he said there's like uh, its own like self-contained like 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 kind of solar star system that you get to explore and there's like it's kind of like he basically was like I don't want to say anything too much because I'll spoil shit but he was like basically it's like what if you were able to just like read the poneglyphs and just like piece by piece figure out like all of the details of like what happened What's crazy is that this is consistent with everything you hear about Outer Wilds. Yeah, I, th I think like Outer Wilds is it's unfortunately a once in a lifetime experience. It it just is because it's you can you can pick up the game and because it's in a 22 minute like time loop, you can ju you it's beatable in that amount of time. Now, you aren't going to know how to do that, so you spend these loops like figuring out like what's going on and how and it's oh my god dude it's so cool <laughs> it's so cool like i i want to spit on it but you can't it's just a game that you can't you just have to pat people on the back and say don't stop until the credits roll trust me like uh i man I bought that game on three different things just to fucking or freaking show support to the devs, man. Like, I, <laughs> uh, oh my god, it's so good. What's happening between these two? They just keep missing each other. <laughs> like, I'm sorry. It's a uh, rude no, and I'm super uh, right. <laughs> I'm super interested now that I've heard multiple takes on it. Like, I trust your opinion, absolutely. But uh, apparently, literally everybody who's ever yep. played this game has, the, I like, the exact same sentiments about it. it that sucks. hold it in, like, the highest like, regard and say that you, you ha I, I'm not going to spoil you. You have to play it, you know? It's, it's like, I, I tried getting my dad to play it because he's a, he's a gamer too, fun fact. Uh, and he's like, I don't know where to go. I don't know what to do. And I'm like, that's the point. You choose where to go. You you just you go and then you learn. And then because of the way it's interconnected, it's like it, like reading the poem is such a perfect way to describe that. It's you are the first one with a, a with a device that can translate the people that came before you. Uh, and they all wrote on like pwn glyphs essentially and and it's cool because they have like little little swirls and then from the main swirl like which is the original post there's off swirls which is like little threads and replies and <laughs> i love that you're drawing this with your mouse right now <laughs> uh, <laughs> leave me alone no it's so good it's so good and like understanding how everything came to be figuring out why you're in a loop understanding what happened to the people before you and and more and like piecing it together the the theory crafting was so good i played this with one of my buddies and we it was oh my god dude it was so good and and it's 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 got that <laughs> vicious cycle of oh just one more loop because it's it's what's what's another 20 minutes that's not that long and, but then you just don't stop because it's like oh what's another 20 minutes or it's like Oh man, it's so good. And and it's like a <laughs> uh, dude, yeah. it's so good. Everybody ate everybody ate up the mouse swirls. That was perfection, bro. <laughs> it's it's like I, the best way to describe Yo. it is it's a perfect 22 minute time loop where everything is exactly the same every time. And because of that, it allows you to experience the whole world across this whole 22. Like, I I know events on timestamps because I've played so much of that game. I have put yeah, like, I get you. like 25 ish hours into the game before I was able to beat it. And it's a 20 minute game. Like, bro, it's so <laughs> good. There's there's Yo, I just real quick. want to shout out to these enemies for lining up like they did, because that was actually crazy. <laughs> <laughs> It's like there a good a good example to like not spoil what's in or on the planet 
but there's two planets called the Hourglass Twins, and it's like as the 22 minutes progresses, sand drops from one to the other, and and there are two planets that orbit each other like a planet and a moon, but they're both planets as they revolve around the the center star. And yeah, it's like a binary orbital or whatever. Yeah, and it's like as time progresses, like you only have so long to explore the caves in one before it starts filling up with sand. And on the flip side, you only you have to wait to explore the other one. Like it, it's so everything is so fine tuned like that. It's so good. It's so yeah, good. It sounds big. And it sucks because I, I can never play that on stream. I would love to have captured my first experience with that. And that's why I'm like, if, if coach plays this and he doesn't stream it, I'm I'm going to I'm gonna riot. Like, it's, it's, I need that. I need that. Like, secondary experience, dude. Like, I just, you, uh, to live vicariously through another person, uh, doing it for the first time is, like, the only way to even get close to that same level of. Ah, uh, it's so good. It's so good. Yeah, Out Outer Wilds might be like the best game I think ever made. Damn. With Journey I as mean, a, a close second. It's unfortunate that it's not really one that, like, you could find streamed, but, like, uh, and maybe not be, really being a gamer and I just kind of backseat, like, like, I probably will only really be able to experience it through, like, a Let's Play. It's like, uh, Jacksepticeye? He, I think he dropped, like, two or three episodes of it, but he never beat it, which breaks my heart, but, like, it kind of hit the mainstream a little bit. It came out in 2019. Uh, it was deemed game of the year for a few places, but not like the game awards or anything. So I guess it doesn't. It's not like, I don't know. It was overshadowed like as prestigious. You know, yeah. I, think, I still think it's legitimate, but yeah. Oh my god, the DLC? Dude, oh, I have goosebumps. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Don't even. The DLC, dude. So, oh my god. I was tricked. I was tricked into playing a horror game. I swear to god. <laughs> oh my god. That's how I felt with Half Life 2 once you get to Raven home. And I'm just like, wait, what? This is. <sighs> <laughs> like, bro, that shit was terrifying, but um, I kind of know that feel. It's like, oh, dude, the, I cannot believe how they did it. Like the DLC perfectly adds to the story without retconning anything. And it's like, it's a puzzle piece that I didn't even know was needed for the whole story. Like it, it was like, I would have been perfectly fine without it. But the way you the way the way that they gave it to you is so good <laughs> you remember we already beat uh sky bandit Leal and ryan these guys are back for seconds uh <laughs> they were like right when we got off the airship or whatever how did that miss <laughs> okay i don't know <laughs> and it's the two on the outside, but not the one in the middle. Like, it's like that doesn't seem like that makes sense. No but way. It's cool. I got all of them. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Olivia is the goat. That is so crazy. The. Man. I wish. I wish I could play it again. I would love to. I would love to share that experience with other people. But, like, I can't even. Bro, I couldn't even be you in, just, like... Uh, yeah. The amount of things that you know, you're just like, yeah, I get it. Yeah. It's also cool because... No, it's, it's, go ahead. Oh, I was going to say, it's like, they they introduce, like... Uh, how do I explain it? It's like... This is... This is how we define, uh, like, these quantum mechanics and these quantum rules and it doesn't like I don't know it's it's just really well done because it creates these rules and not once does it ever break them but also not once does it ever like disregard real rules of like real life 
it's more like the like speculative speculative uh like facts i i guess theories like it, it builds off of like quantum theories which is real and then never steps on its own toes and then it, it builds the it builds the world around it it's it's just really it's pieced together really well Yeah, I'm like super interested. Uh, yo, peace out, Y host. If you're if you're heading out, uh, we That's we mean. appreciate you, brother. Uh, but yeah, I um, from what Cody said earlier in the chat, like it kind of does feel like that. It's like uh, it kind of sounds like to me, it's like a Majora's Mask kind of vibe. But like instead of just like Terminator region and Clock Town and things like that, it's like it's the, a solar an system. entire yeah. like solar system, which sounds like so cool, honestly. Uh, and, and it's like oh. All, no, it's not I, I don't know I don't want to say it's not as big as Majora's Mask it might be it might be roughly the same size like the planets aren't necessarily big and like each planet has its own gravitational like pull and, and whatnot it's really cool so like you can kind of abuse the gravity and like jump and use your boosters and like y abuse the gravity <laughs> And like literally jump around the planet or like you can get yourself perfectly stuck in orbit if you like try hard enough and then you don't have to use your boosters at all and you'll just slowly rotate around the planet it's really cool it's super cool but yeah they're not incredibly large but like they're deep in what's what is there like everything is you. meticulously placed for a reason this guy but it's yeah it's very majora's mask in terms of there's a time loop and every minute of that loop is important with everything that's going on in the solar system this is crazy these guys just got caught in 4k or what As oh. Charizard gives no hex, dude. Grr. Who says grr? Who says Is this that? this dude doesn't like bracers? Is he a bad? He, he's like a, actually a bad guy. Is yeah, I, I think I last stream dick, we but... talked about him potentially being in cahoots. Yeah. And that's upsetting because he held Cassius, uh, Estelle's dad, in pretty high regard, and they said that they suspected that Cassius leaving the the royal army or whatever was part of his reason why he had disdain for bracers. And now we see that he might be part of, partly responsible for why Cassius is missing right now. This is deep. She looking like Sakura. <laughs> Dang man. I didn't expect to be it's it's like Outer Wilds does something to me, man. It's like a trigger where <laughs> he's like I'm, I became possessed. <laughs> like, oh my god. It's yeah, I think, it's like I've seen that in oh, other man. people's like faces too though, is like what I'm saying. You know what I mean? Like I've seen yeah. other people get like that crazed level of like fanatic about it and i'm just like damn this shit's like a this shit's gotta be like built different like i saw i saw a post uh yesterday about like marvel vs capcom fans are insane they'll hear like the the soundtrack to a marvel game and like just wander into oncoming traffic towards it because it means that there's another one of them <laughs> out there and it's like that's how i feel about outer wilds <laughs> That is hilarious. <laughs> it said wander into oncoming traffic. <laughs> no, brother. You know what I think would be a lot of fun to play here? I think as a as an in between RPG games for TLA, uh I think Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite has a, a pretty solid story. That could be beaten in like two sittings. You know, assuming I I play well enough. 
I don't know anything about the story, but, but I mean, I'd be, I'm here for the ride, brother. I'm, 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 I'm just vibing. So I mean, whatever, whatever you feel like doing, bro. But I'm definitely here for, uh, for this stuff because that's Charizard does in fact solo, and Olivier is the goat. Cody, Cody says, says no. no. <laughs> yeah. So Willow Dreams is uh he kind of gets it. It's the inspiration for the movie. Uh so what happened, it's it's actually a very controversial game to speak on it a little bit. Like I <laughs> dang man. Y'all got me talking about video games on TLA gaming. That's crazy. Uh so to flex my knowledge <laughs> a little bit and explain some of the development hell. So Disney bought Marvel. Or wait. Yeah, it was Disney bought Marvel around that time. And because of that, they're like, oh, cool. We're going to the people want a new Marvel vs. Capcom game. So let's give it to them. But they didn't own Fox. So we immediately lost half the roster. No more X-Men, no more Deadpool. Uh, and that's <laughs> that's something. But they they wanted it to be about the Infinity Stones to match like Infinity War and all that stuff. Like it was it was hell, dude. Uh, oh man, they had to like repatch in and like retexture the faces on half the cast. Chun Li was like the worst of it. Uh, what I will say, it, it is definitely that suffered if it uh, because of Disney. Uh, di yeah, Disney's not a fan of people playing most of their content. So I like or like I don't know. Well, that one might be a little bit fishy, but we we, we can look into it some for sure. I think it's different with like collabs like Kingdom Hearts and stuff like that. But I know that like they're definitely not they, they don't they, their definition of transformative content isn't quite the same as other people's, I think. Yeah. But I mean, the story itself wasn't all that bad. Mega Man X, uh, which is one of my like favorite games of all time. Uh, that X himself had like a huge character moment at the end of the game and I I was popping off so like they they put enough cool flashy sh stuff in front of me that I was content but, <laughs> or I subdued I guess is a better way to say it yeah I get you though like uh playing Marvel my team is Zero on the Tarasu and Virgil and all of a sudden I didn't have my full roster anymore going into MVCI, which is heartbreaking. Uh, they the infinity. Oh, dude, it's kind of cool. So like before battle, you get to choose an infinity stone to bring in and they're on like a cooldown and provide different sorts of like buffs and abilities. And they like charge up and depending on how charged we use it, like it'll activate like a different thing. So like the speed one makes all of your moves cancelable into any of your moves. So it's like if you play as Hulk, you can just push the main attack button over and over and over again. <laughs> it's really stupid. And so what's going on? I know the mayor was so like we got I'm a recommendation. I think we're moving on to Thanks. the next town. I think before we do all that, though, we we finish the side quest here. Unless you want to just book it. Uh, I think it depends. I think we'll look at the board and if we have Okay, just kidding. I guess we're here now. Uh, <laughs> uh I think we'll look at the board. Maybe maybe we can skip the tower one. But like if there's others, I wouldn't mind doing it. I just don't like being up in that area. It's really far away. There's a lot of loot in that tower. I'm just letting you know right now. <laughs> it's like, like a lot. Dang. Right, we're reading a letter. Dear Estelle and Joshua, I'm sure you're probably about finished with the jobs I left for you, right? I'm also sure there are many things I'll have trouble with in the beginning. But take each one step at a time. I know you both can succeed. Anyway, 
my god. <laughs> it turns out that I've had a little trouble with my old work, and unfortunately it looks like I won't be able to make it home for quite some time. Please don't expect my return until after the Queen's birthday celebration. I'm really sorry that things turned out like this, like they did, but you should be grown up enough to not be lonely while I'm away. Cool. You're free to continue working in Roland, or you're free to pursue qualifying as a senior racer. Your 16th year is a vintage time in your life, so make sure not to waste it. S. Charizard and Ina Cassius. So he's alive. Yeah, Ina, Ina's also her. Yeah, I mean, that could be a fake letter. <laughs> but yes, he is presumed alive. Which I, we, I figured, you know, when they said that the ship got hijacked instead of like blown up or something. I was like, oh, he's alive, you know. He says, I, I still like don't know if I trust MGCI him. I as much as Evo does. I don't even want to talk about Evo, dude. They dropped like they dropped all the good games. Remember when they dropped Melee? Yeah, don't don't even talk to me about Evo. Evo sucks these days. Ever since Sony bought Evo, Evo has not been the same. There, I said it. Dang. Well, it's like when Sony bought it, all of the like Nintendo was like, oh, we don't want to associate with you anymore because now we're giving Sony money for sponsoring like our games. <laughs> Bro. So we're going to go check it out. The parcel. It's a, it's a bomb. It's a bomb. Oh, dang. Oh, my God. Whoa. Wait. <laughs> He said, this is too real. <laughs> the level of regret that was in that. Oh, wait. I was able to secure the item the Afrosid group was carrying, so please take care of it. Ask Professor R to do an analyst of when you find an opportunity. Okay. K or Professor R might be? Oh, this music though. Yeah. Now we have real fighting games. Yeah, like Underbirth and Night. So many people have heard of that one. I just can't really get into fighting games anymore. Like, I don't know, back in like the GameCube era, I was like, this is peak. And then like, I don't know, once we moved into like, you know, like, I know it's Brawl, it's the brawl, third dude. generation. I was just like, <laughs> mm. no, it's uh, Street Fighter f five was Rocky. No, it was four. four yeah, it was Rocky. Five I mean, I played Soul PC Calibur and two and Soul exclusive. Calibur. Yeah, I played Soul Calibur five, and there was just like a big difference between the two. And I was just like, I guess I can still play this, but it didn't feel the same. It was nowhere near as big of a departure as it was from Melee into Brawl, though. Like, <laughs> like I will forever yeah. die on that hill. I'm just like, this is this. What what have they done? Like. Uh, so to address what Cody just said, regardless how evil fell through, MVCI didn't even stay on its roster when evil is popular. It's a bad game. It's not a bad game. It had a lot of bad press. Like it, everyone slandered it for how it looked before it came out and people got a feel for how it played. Uh, it played really well and was and still is arguably on par with <laughs> MVC3 or UMVC3. Did you see that? <laughs> It's just, it's unfortunate because the uh, the lack of X Men, and how ugly the game looks, like really, really, like buried it before it even dropped. Maximilian has gone on record to say that it was not a bad game; it was press. I I can send you sources after. Oh. 
also like are we like splitting the party that's what i'm thinking i don't like that i also don't like that This is so sad. No. <laughs> this guy has his priorities straight. <laughs> You're fine, Cody. Yeah, I, this is coming from someone who pre-ordered the big collector's edition with the statues and the infinity eggs. But hey, they also gave me a cool MVCI comic uh, that was exclusive. I mean, when it's the second best gameplay in the series out of like five games, is it really an insult? I don't know. <laughs> it's, it's, it's this guy. Yo, oh my god. What? What was that? Eek! There he go. He's getting pulled back. <laughs> That's hilarious, dude. So am I just down their gear? Like, what? Yeah, if you're buying them a whole bunch of stuff and getting them cool items. Those were the only two that got... I didn't say it was the best. I said it's the second best. And I am popping off. I mean, I think it's fine to oh have God. a difference of opinion. Dude, we finally beat chapter one. I mean, you're not in chapter two yet. I don't think, great. Right? I think we are now. Like, we just beat chapter one. Uh, well, there's just a bunch of quests that I don't know if we can do now. <laughs> it's fine, though. I... I haven't had the opportunity to do anything. I've been in cutscenes for... 10 minutes. It's like Metal Gear, for real. <laughs> <laughs> No way. Are we dropping the main two and we're going to play as these two instead? Talk. I think this is actually this is Skip crazy. Skip the foreplay oh and go God. straight to the climax. <laughs> what is happening? Yo, Charizard's just her. It's just or S Charizard. I'm sorry, I gotta say her full name. <laughs> Are we gonna get some like Olivier backstory? Because I'm here for that. Play acting is one word. Interesting. It was an artifact that was unearthed. Is this post apocalyptic Earth? This is kind of crazy, yeah. They really know how to end a chapter. <laughs> like, because it's they've said at the end of the prologue, which is like cracked open the whole story. Uh, I don't see any humor in those eyes.
<laughs> Supreme Swordsman and Master Strategist by the Royal Army. Four people in the continent have the title. Whoa. Divine Blade Cassius Bright. No way. <laughs> Cassius Chapter just two. keeps getting gassed up. Oh my god. That was the in-between? Okay, so now we're in chapter two? Divine Blade? Was he like a paladin? I guess. So, okay, I imagine we can go... Go to the market first. Like, yeah. as soon as you're back in Bose. That's like, the, well, the Bracers Guild and then the market, I think, right? Yep. Like, okay. in that it's order, because there should be uh, issue number four of Liberal News for you to buy. You already, so that one was already failed before, stolen. remember? We're still at the Stolen Ring. Okay, so cool. So we, yeah, perfect. Um, Nothing to report. All right. To the market. Okay, so hit the market and you, from the newspaper book bookshop, dude, you can get liberal news number four now. Uh, okay, give me Which a sec. I think he's on the, I think he's on the bottom left area, like in this corner. Yeah, perfect. Is this him? I think so. Issue four? Yes. Wait, did we already have so issue three? More, yeah, we did. More story time, I think. Hold on. I items? Uh, books. No, we skipped three? Oh, okay. Well, you can buy three if you want to. It wasn't there. Well, now it is. <laughs> no, it's just four. Oh, that's crazy. Well, I guess... Hmm. It, well, I mean, I guess it's fine, but... Oh, God. Do you want to read this? All hostages safely secured. The Royal Army reports that the military's intelligence division successfully located the Sky Bandits hideout in the mountains of Bose. The criminals were apprehended. Sky Bandits caught. All of... Oh, that's like the caption, my bad. <laughs> and all the <laughs> hostages were set free. Lind found abandoned mine, an abandoned mine, uh, mere days prior to Kapua's capture. The Lind was found in an abandoned mine north of Ravenue Village. Its cargo had been looted, and its passengers and crews were still missing. It, but this was the break of the investigators needed to crack the case wide open. And shortly thereafter, that's exactly what they did. Great success for new intelligence division. The monumental task of clue analysis and deduction fell upon the Royal Intelligence Division, newly founded by the young man named Colonel Alan Richard. Uh, while the Border Patrol tracked the... Next page. Criminals, a team of intelligence officials led by one General Morgan, fed them information and analyses. Uh, and it was this coordinated effort that ultimately led to the successful rescue. Historic arrest witnessed by media. Put your hands in the air, came the cry. With that, the Royal Army blockaded the Kapuas before they could escape. It was all over Don Kanua's blank, disbelieving stare said it all. And then it shows a little picture of the garb looking dude with blue hair. Oh, shoot. Okay. Bracers also play a crucial role. Intelligence and Border Patrol alone can't take all the credit for the successful rescue, as a handful of Bracers played a fairly significant role too, modestly dodging the, t the limelight in the process. Several hours prior to the Army's raid, the Bracers infiltrated the Sky Bandit's hideout through decidedly non-standard means and waged a small war against them from within, keeping them off their guard. In the end, it seems the Bracers and the Royal Army really did work together, albeit by accident. Ringleader taken to Le Le Leiston Fortress. 
Don Kapua, the ringleader of this crime family, has been transported to the Liston Fortress where he will be thoroughly interrogated. The Kapua's Imperial made light aircraft Bobcat has been impounded as evidence and the case is expected to be an open and shut one. Families relieved that hostages are safe. Friends and families of the hostages finally have a reason to smile again now that they know that their loved ones are safe. Mboza's mayor, Maybell, who's the goat by the way, is overjoyed as well. This is the result we all prayed for, she says, and we owe an Im immeasurable debt and of thanks to all of those involved in resolving this incident without casualty. We at Liberal News also wish to send our gratitude to General Morgan along with his men and the women of the Intelligence Division for working around the clock to track down the whereabouts of hostages and their captors. Everyone else involved deserves a commendation as well. So let's be sure that when they return to their homes, they receive a true hero's welcome. So, Society Duke Dunin von Onlis to visit Ruan. Our sources say... Sorry, there's something in my eye. Hold on. Our sources say Her Majesty's nephew is planning a vacation to Ruan through the, though the exact time and location remain undisclosed. Society Imperial Citizens Dines and Dashes, uh, the upscale Anteros restaurant in Bose, North Block, suffered a loss this week when an Imperial Traveler would-be musician <laughs> built on his rather hefty bill. The man was arrested on the spot and imprisoned at Hawking Gate, a bit severe, but it sends a powerful message. My goat, Olivier. <laughs> oh, man. I feel so I feel so naked without my other my two party members. Dang. Uh, also, it just dawned on me because the image that was there, the news is being written by the two people that we've been seeing around. I don't know why that just clicked for me when it should be obvious, but it did. It dude really did look like Garp for real. Not gonna lie. <laughs> yeah. OK. So, what do we do? Oh, hold do? on. Looking I read rain. another thing. Uh, yeah, so you'll need to go to Amberl Tower, which is going to be kind of in that same area, I think, that you're at. South. Oh, uh, yeah, I can find that map in a second. So, hold on. Um, Amberl number... <laughs> Or at the Bose Market, gotcha. returning the stolen ring and then solving the mystery of the black notebook that found in the sky back. Okay, yeah, so that's going to apparently be a thing we figure out soon. So, yeah, I think the next major thing is to go to Amberl Tower um, and uh, find what you call it, the, the lost ring. So you can return that to what's her face. I think it was I'm like Launa, Launa. On it, chief. My dog, my dog just did the cutest fucking yawn. Oh my god. Ugh, excuse me. What about the white notebook? No, it was a. He's 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 being. <laughs> the, the white book is the white notebook isn't mysterious only the 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 one that is a different color that we found i'm not getting baited <laughs> oh my goodness the death note yeah we found out that charlie day would not only figure um <laughs> who day. kira was but he would also discern the mechanics of the death note last night it was pretty cool speak of uh i just watched pacific rim again last night as well oh my god 
Uh, so this is gonna be just like the other tower with a cool uh, like Emestris or no that's that's uh that's Full Metal Alchemist but es Esmolus or whatever it's it's gonna be just like that tower so like a circular pattern and you just need to make sure you explore every floor thoroughly because there's a lot of loot here I think the rings on like the second or third floor I missed Cody was popping off this morning um. We're so we were with uh, Crownless and my server, and we were like f looking at a funny image. It's in the chat of like the. It's so funny though, but we, I I don't know if this is what he's referring to, but yeah, we were looking at like who could. There's like um, it was like one of those like uh like, political spectrum type of diagrams, but it, it, like the the metrics were like could solve the the mystery of who kira is and could not solve on one axis <laughs> and the other is could solve the mechanics of the death note and could not solve the mechanics of the death note and we had to see like batman and like nardwar could apparently solve the case and discern the mechanics of the the death note and like it showed a whole bunch of people who could do one or the other or like both or neither it was so funny that's yeah we were vibing <laughs> that's tough i don't think anyone could after they start writing fake rules in the death note i think it becomes scuffed if we don't include no, that the then i think that a lot more people could yeah, I think it's funny that like like so like Nardwar, we were joking because he was so high on the list. Like um, Crownless King was just like Nardwar shows up with the second Death Note as <laughs> he's just <laughs> he's just like already like oh, like ahead of the ball. Like that's so funny to me because like honestly, dude is like for real omniscient at this point. It's crazy how much stuff he can dig up. And Light's just sitting there like, oh, what? But how? And it's just like, you're Kira. We have to know. Like, you know, <laughs> like, and he just does like his little catchphrase. <laughs> what are these bugs doing? That's it. I'm going to, I'm going to hurt. She's silenced. I can't even attack. Oh, nuts. Are you petrified? Like, how does that work? I don't know. I. I don't know. No, I can. I'll use clock up on myself, I guess. Why does Josh just have so much more stats than Estelle? I don't get it. I don't know. Probably because Josh is at full health, maybe. Excuse me. Well, I mean, even his EP and his like craft points just got a lot more than her. Isn't she like a higher level? Well, they're like the same level, but. I think it's wild that she's been, she can't attack. I Is she paralyzed? Like, I don't know what status is doing that. Like, it doesn't show me when I uh, go over it. Let me look up Amber Tower on the wiki and I'll be able to find it out for you. Amber. I can do you one better. The enemy is called Green Insectos. What attacks do they got? Yeah, it, it, whenever I go to Amber Tower, it shows me like a little pop out of all of the enemies that are there. So I'll be able to see in just a second. Okay. I'm going to sneeze though. Oh my God. No, I'm not. Never mind. Was but to ruse. Don't worry about it. Yeah, don't worry about it, bro. I found a, a tear balm and a dead end. Yeah, there's gonna be a couple like uh, dead end, like just random like loot things. And tear bombs are just like the basic potion, right? But like some of this stuff is important, so just make sure. I think there's like another weapon. I'm not sure. And then there's like, and if it's a weapon for a party member you don't have anymore, you can just sell that shit. But I know the ring is somewhere in here so fried eyes and eggs hold on what no way that's what that just that said. is that is kind of crazy yeah fried eyes and eggs okay sure pretty solid eel too <laughs> unfortunately 
Apparently the third floor has got like a lot of shit. So... Who's the dumbest person you think could still solve the Death Note? Charlie Day. Like, as himself, <laughs> or...? No, um, there was some interesting, um, like, Charlie from, uh, It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia, like, in, like, the, the conspiracy room with, like, all the pegboards and, like, the, the... But no, um, the funniest one I saw on there, as far as one that can solve the Death Note, was Hank Venture. From the Venture Brothers. The Venture Brothers. <laughs> that's... I, I recognize the last name, and that's, like, full stop. It is it is actually accurate. He probably would be able to solve it. Um, it doesn't tell me anything specific about the Insectos. Green Insectos, it just tells me their elemental eff efficacy, their HP strength. Um, it says a large monster that continuously attacks the first prey it sets eyes on. Oh, God. Oh, um, blocked status. What's a robber trapper? Um, looking right now. Oh, never mind. I got worried because it was a monster that popped out of a chest. So I was like, is my life about to be forfeit? I don't think it's that big of a deal. Oh, no, yeah, you just like one tap this shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Lucas knows Hank could absolutely figure out the mechanics of the Death Note. I don't think he's solving the Kira case, though. <laughs> you know, actually, I think Charlie from Always Sunny could do it. I think he could do both. I think I agree with that. I think it would I be one so. of those show your work and he would show the work and you'd, you'd be like, well, everything here is wrong, but you still ended up at the right result kind of a deal you know <laughs> yeah he just has that kind of manifesting power you know <laughs> so this is also boss music oh it huh but this isn't the normal music this is like the boss music so that's why like, i was like yeah i'm worried right now Okay. Oh, big yikes. You didn't buy any revive bombs when you were back in town. I forgot. Oh, God. He just got one tapped. Whoa. That's. I'm toast, Chief. They gotta take uh, three turns in a row before I could do anything. That's insane. What the heck just happened? No, Rosie. Calm down. That's actually wild. Um, let me look up the specifics of those guys, uh, because... Yeah, that was intense. And I can tell you, like, the, the pro strats. Give me a second. I'm going to save. Okay. Okay, so Robert Trapper's elemental efficacy looks like fire is 50%. Or er, hold on. I'm colorblind. Uh, ele Earth? Earth. Earth is 50. Yeah. Everything Earth. else does normal. So I should be doing normal. I think if they have less, that means that you should do Earth to them, right? Or no, am I wrong? No, it means they take 50% instead of 100% okay. damage. 
Um, so they have 424 HP, they're level 12, they have kind of shitty stats, but let's see. Oh my god, this isn't oh, good. Oh, they have an- they self-destruct, which is crazy. Okay, so these elemental things did nothing to them. And Josh just got half health in one hit. And Josh is dead. Yep, Josh is dead. Did you save? Yeah. <laughs> okay. And Estelle took half health in one hit. Dang, this is crazy. Wow. That's wild on a critical. And they all get to go twice in a row. I'm sorry. I think you were supposed to encounter this with four party members. Uh huh. Well, I hope this chest isn't important. What floor were you on? Uh -oh. Five. And I'm on the roof. Oh, did you already find the ring? No. Oh my god. I just followed a path to the end. Now I'm gonna go back. Nothing on the roof. World is pretty though. There's nothing you can interact with in that little center part? No. Kinda crazy. Weird. Oops. Yeah, there's two chests on the fifth floor and I got one of them but there's only one actually let's see what this chest says how depressing they go the other way oof <laughs> And that was with 10 times. Interesting. Oh my god, Joshua! Joshua, please! Yeah! The way you just said that was crazy, Joshua! <laughs> <laughs> He's hurting my soul. Just hit him, dog. So there, there was, there was apparently a secret mission here that we missed, but let me see. Um, oh, yeah, we run in from this one. So this shows the outside. The first floor was the tier ball second floor. Okay, so there's one chest, two chest, three chest, four chest, five, six. Okay, so there's six total chests. I'm gonna find out which one has the ring. So you got a tear bomb. Did you get a chain mail? No. Um, you got the fried eggs and whatever. So, oh, the that's what you get from beating the three robber trappers is chain mail. I probably but you could just buy chain mail. Yeah. yeah. Um, there's an emerald talisman which you already got from defeating the one robber trapper in a chest, right? Uh, potentially. I'm back on the second floor again. Oh God. Yeah, it was the one that said the chest is empty. How depressing, I think. I still haven't found the ring. Do we know what floor that's on? Hmm. Check your notes. Because I just looked and... Uh, 
I like it when they drop chests. Okay. Uh... And that's another down. Why well, didn't even I didn't even go in it? That's an open chest. Okay, so I found the way. All right, getting jumped. Have fun with that. These guys gotta just stop, man. They die in one hit. Oh my gosh! If if I can hit, I guess they die in one hit. Perfect. Now disappear. Oh, dude. I remember that Naruto fighting game where Gara had a. I think I played it on GameCube. It might have also been on PS2. Gara had like a sand attack and he would go disappear every time he used it and you could spam it over and over again. I, d I never played a Naruto fighting game. I know that's like probably crazy because a lot of people were like hype on some of like a. Uh some of them, but I never played one. Uh, let's see. Stolen Ring is available side quest. Bearing South for a block burglary. Okay, somehow I'm back on third floor. Me wondering how I got to floor three when I just went upstairs. Oof. Okay, so it says that... Hold on. Goodness. Believe it. You should already have the ring. I should what? Uh, items? Jeweled ring. Oh. Uh, apparently it was in the Sky Bandit stronghold, so like where we just were. It's not, what the heck was here? It's not in this tower? Ah, uh, no, I, I think jumped. There is like a I swear I remember it saying that it was I'm um, confused. This is why I, I like I hate hopping across the guides. <laughs> I, the Will of Dream said, believe it. <laughs> I opened every chest that was available to me in the bandits stronghold. It said it was on the third floor. So not on Ambril Tower. No, uh, there was apparently a mission here, but we missed it. OK, and I was confused. Uh, so that's my B. We are a OK. That would be a very interesting tactic. It's Naruto's alt. He does talk no jutsu and you just auto win. <laughs> or auto draw. Oh my I guess. god. That's actually crazy. Did you hear about the uh the One Punch Man fighting game? Where the story has you just surviving until Saitama can show up? That's wild. Yeah. Is that actually It's it's real. Is that actually um, yeah. it? <laughs> oh my god. Alright. So I guess we're dropping this mission. It's no biggie. I mean, you could go back to the stronghold if you wanted to, right? Yeah, that's so far though. Wow, I forgot what these guys were called. Don't like their names. Whoa, what were they? E G G E R. Yikes. Yep. <laughs> Daring today, aren't we? Are you the bike hero in it? Or the king? <laughs> in the one punch man uh 
what's his name? Starts with a G. Genome? Jiro? Genos? Genos. Yeah. I know you play as him in some of the fights. I haven't checked out the fighting game all too much, but I heard about it because, uh, you know, I'm in, I'm in both the anime community and fighting game community. I never really got into One Piece, or whoa, One Piece, sorry, One Punch Man. <laughs> My God. Factory modify exchange. What do we got? Slots. Mm, Joshua can not get any. Got one, two, three, four. Versus <laughs> two. Hey, yo, what the fuck is with this ad? I'm sorry. I just I got a random ad while I'm looking at it. This was crazy. <clears throat> so I don't know what side quest are you uh, are available to you still other than stolen ring. If you're not wanting to go back to the <laughs> what you call it. None of that. <laughs> Cool. Then I guess just advance and there's a Oh wait, I just I totally just opened up a slot. I want to know what each of these stats do. Like, what does increasing my dex do? My ability to not miss? I think... Um, I could look that up if you want. Uh, do you have the the ring equipped to any of your people by any chance? Because it is an equipable item. Jewel ring. ring. Oh my god. You have it. That go talk to Lona. She's in this horrible shop right now, I think, right? My god, I can't believe I have it. <laughs> Yo, that's crazy. Well, we completed the mission, guys. <laughs> oh my goodness. That is wild to me. I was like, we did nothing wrong. What happened? We were doing so good. <laughs> okay. This person? Uh, her name should Are, be Lana. Oh, Is she the no. counter? It's, she's she's not here. She's... It's one of these houses, though. Not you. Not you. I think she's up this way. It says once you buy a copy of the newspaper, there fourth issue, is. head to South Bows and the house behind the Orbel shop. Yes, there you go. Yeah, don't worry. I've been up and down this town enough. I remember where she is. <laughs> we did it, folks. Let's go. That's crazy. It has defense plus two. But it's valuable to her. What's One Piece Void Century Mind? That is a good question. Vex, explain. Redacted. <laughs> wow, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. <laughs> How'd I do? I got a little bit out of breath on that one, honestly. Now you can get more uh, more bracer points and go get paid.
This better be worth it. I'm now missing out on a defense plus two ring. <laughs> All right, let's get out of here. We've done everything. So let's look at the map. Am I going to Crone Pass? Yes. Oh my God, that's so far away. Okay. Now head to. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. It said, uh, once you get a copy, return the ring you found. Now head to Hawken Gate and down to the cells below and speak to the guards there to turn in the black book you recovered. So go to Hawken Gate first. The what book? The black book that you found in that vacuum. Oh, yeah, that's weird. He said, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. man, that's yeah, extra cute. Hawk and Gate. OK. Yes. So I think that's like what in between um, Roland and Bose. Am I right? Yeah, I have to go east and then north. Cool. It's not that bad. Not that bad. No. It's Eisen Road. You know, shout out to my goat, Eisen. So, uh, do you think the name not is from... Road after him? No, it's not spelled the same way. Also, this was in 2001. And I don't think... Uh, I, I don't, or 2004 or whatever. I don't think free run was a thing back then. I was not thinking of Eisen from free run. Oh, you were thinking of Bleach. I still don't think Eisen from Bleach was that big. And then because it wasn't Bleach like... 2003 What's that the it came out. What's the Bride's guy's name? Uh, why did I think it was Eisen? Why? It's El Elias Ainsworth. Ainsworth. Also, that wasn't a thing in 2004 either. Oh, I, I know, I know. I was just yeah. <laughs> trying to figure out, like, hold on, what? What am I doing? Uh, you gotta, you gotta find the cells, like, uh, like I guess, like holding cells or oh, something. Oh, that's shit right. Like that. I know where I'm going. Back up here. Yep. Yeah. And then you talk to the guards there. Gang, 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 gang. Let me in. Uh, Jesus Christ. Okay, what do you got to say for yourself, buddy? Oh, there's Sky Bandits, according to him. That's less fun. This architecture makes no sense. Hold on a minute. Look how close these doors are. These should be the same room. I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh, bruh. This is absolutely the wrong way. Here we go. Perfect. Ice and dial iron cloud. This guy gets it. Was Skypea a thing in 2004? I don't know. <laughs> Look up the chapter think release it, dates. I think it probably was. But you have to also think this this game was probably a development for you know probably at least a year before like it came out right so was Skypea a thing in 2003 also probably I'm thinking like six years into One Piece seven years into One Piece six six yeah six ish I'm thinking it probably was what'd you get I handed them the oh, handed notebook them Let's go. That was a quest that wasn't in the quest thing. Cool. Secret quest. 
Secret, Secret Tunnels. <laughs> Once you turn it in, your last stop should be the Bracer Guild to collect the above two jobs. So you can collect from that job um, that you just completed right now. Now yes. everything prior to the passing, the checkpoint and crown pass has been completed. Time to head to Ruan. I think it's crazy that we missed a quest while following a guide. Well, I was following three guides because all these guides suck. I found one that's decent. But I still have to hop between the wiki and this guide because uh the wiki 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 slim shady. Yes. All those things uh are big old boys. I remember these guys. How far oh, yeah, poultry beat? I like how they got little eggs on their heads. Foreshadowing? Egghead. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, these things are weak to thunder, I think. They're weak to my melee attacks. They're not, though. They got a lot of HP and can deal damage to your whole party. And I'm gonna I'm a thwack them. Wait. You can like one tap these things with like the right craft. No, no, it's about sending a message. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's just like Sorted Online. We're switching. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> it's, yeah. That's crazy. That's no! crazy. Okay, I'm running from this one. I can't. Oh, oh, he's just a little guy. Okay, I usually they summon the big one on their first turn. That's Didn't even get the chance. Nah, homie spent the chance hitting me instead. For a baby. I know what you meant. I baby's know what you meant. Bit of damage. But yeah, uh, stop by the Bracers Guild and get paid again, and then you'll be able to dip. I recommend maybe buying some items. Oh, true. Right. I talked to him instead of reporting. I know. Yay. Right. Later. <laughs> a laundry pool. It's about sending a message. This has got like major Gen 3 Pokemon vibes and I love it. Perfect. I have 10 reviving bombs now. Let's get out of here. <laughs> uh oh. No, that's the the it's not free rent, it's free den. Oh my god. Okay, we're at the highway. I think now we make our our journey. But before that, we save. Let's do that. Did you get items? Yes. I bought 10 okay. revives and 10 potions. Oh, okay. Yeah, tier bombs are like super expensive and inefficient for the most part, but they could save your life. Revive bombs are like a must, but you're better off just kind of using like your 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 whatever it's called. Your like she has heal like as a magic. Like you can use your craft on that. 
<laughs> yeah, it's it's like weird because they they heal the same amount, but her ability takes two turns and a resource. Well, I guess a different type. Well, of not resource. when you're out of combat. Yeah, when yeah. you're out of combat, it doesn't take two turns though. So. That's that's why I bought the the potions was for in. Yeah, gotcha. I do kind of just be going this way. Oh God, man, that noise spooked me. These guys. Oh, bro. A lot of HP, I think, or uh, EXP, unless they run away. These are the the XP things, yeah? Shiny Palm, is that what they're called? Yeah. Yeah. There's one of these in every chapter, or like one of these encounters in every chapter. <laughs> Yo, Will, what? <laughs> oh, sorry. No shot. I'm incredibly sad. No way. I think these things have ridiculous. Oh no. I I missed all of my attacks. Well, I think they have a ridiculous ev evasionist. Yeah. Um. So the plan. Uh, the plan v was. In the chat said, "Use a craft." The plan was to hit them and fill up my craft points so I could use my alts. That way, I could get two attacks and two alts off. But because I missed, I didn't fill my craft points back up, and I lost them completely. Like rip. The, the risk I took was calculated, but boy, am I bad at math. Oh my god. So this guy. Like Y'all play that game? V V V V V V. Just reminds me of Lucas's laugh. <laughs> uh in in uh in Cody 8, a D D that me and Tree and Straw Hat Lucas and Dastardly Dan play in and uh, SSJ8 Cody runs every Saturday over on his Twitch. Uh, and uh, Victor D. Verauder's laugh is me, 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 me. They always appear in specific places. You can search for them. Okay. So, yeah, that's like there's like one per chapter, right? Like the shiny palms. That's like, um, so I think you can go and find them again. If you I was go gonna back. Say, when I fought them in the, the first one, they did like we got hella experience from it. Yeah, so I would go back, like just like literally backpedal one map because I'm pretty sure they're only in like one specific location per chapter. Oh dang, that means that we're, we've already encountered them in chapter two. Well, no, that's the chapter one one, I think. Because you could have gone this direction like uh, like you could. This was like the third on the West Bose Trail, right? You could have gone into this area like before in chapter one. I guess I don't think there's any reason to. Uh, before like heading to the next town. They're totally like supposed exploration. to be here. Can I like refresh the map and see if I can refresh their spawns? I don't know. I don't know how it works. I could Google it though. You know, I could do that for sure. So if we can manipulate the aha, you found him. Oh, yeah. Okay, use crafts. <laughs> like... He hit me. Okay. So I'm gonna have to do both of these. Yikes, man. That's crazy. Oh, it's, it's still alive. Oh, my God. It's over. Do I go to kill just the one and hope, you know? <laughs> I think. Cause I mean, there's no way you're gonna deal that much damage to another one. I mean, she might. She's her, remember? 
Nah, you got at least one though. I don't know if the other ones are gonna run away. Like oh, they this are. One okay. And the other. Okay. Well. Well. How much HP did you get from that? Or XP? I mean. Uh, a lot, probably. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Where's my? Where's the thing that tells me it's how much the... more? XP? Oh, there it is at the bottom. It's right there. Dang. The Shadow Spear art, I don't have that. Yo, V, 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 V knows what's up. This is crazy. Dude, what's the Shadow Spear art? Is that something I can get in the previous town? I bet that's an orb that I just don't have equipped. Well, I guess I could use Death Blow too. <laughs> I'm on it. I'm looking it up right now. It is uh, something you get from the court. 20% um, chance of instant killing an opponent. Wow, that's crazy. I swear I've seen it before. Do I go back for it? I think I will. We'll go take a, a peek at this stuff. Yeah, those guys seem tough. Shout out to uh, V in the chat, though. You know what's up. I think you can go and fight more of them, actually. Where? Because people people say you f can farm them, so I think you can literally keep walking up and down that map and fight as many as you want. Pretty sure. Okay, so I got turned around and accidentally progressed. So <laughs> I guess we'll. We'll get the courts at the next town. <laughs> Queen Scorpion. See the arts of time in the guide? Okay. Uh, I have, like, very little understanding of how the guide works. Is there like fusing of the orbs? I didn't really understand what this means. Vex, <laughs> did you say quartz or corpse? I said quart, like with a Q, brother. Um, one. So I need three of these things. Those, uh, you should have a lot of those, I think. Yeah. So I can just make that. That's wild. I think it's weird because, like, most of these don't even show up in the shop when I try and when I go to make courts. Like, when do I start getting evade two? Oh, it's asked. No! Oh my god. <laughs> Whoa. Why? God. So this person said, I don't get it. For example, I want to make a shield one become a shield two. It's a, in the book. It says X three. So I make three of them and then I can't figure out how to merge them. Or the court sellers supposed are they supposed to do something? Um, oh. and the answer is you can't upgrade or combine quartz. You can only create new ones. If you want a shield two quartz, you go to the local orbital factory, or select quartz shield two, and select quartz shield two. If it's not on the list, it's too early in the game, and you can't craft it. Art. So what does the X3 mean? It adds three of whatever element is shown to whatever. But what the X3 means is that it adds three of whatever element is shown to whatever line on the orbment it installed on. Oh, I see Shadow Spear. Okay. Type and required elements is five. Uh... <laughs> 
V, bless your soul, man. <laughs> so, what do I do with this information? I'm looking it up right now. It's five black rupees. And on here, it is, was it? It is three black rupees for death blow. And I don't understand. Okay. Uh, so like on Joshua, do I need, so up here, do I need to make this number hit three for it to show up in magic? So like, it's more beneficial for me to start equipping the same elemental. I have a death. Oh wait, that's death blow two. So two. And when I hit three, it'll show up. I'm reading. Um, sorry. There's a lot of stuff that isn't important, and then I'm looking for the stuff that is important. Place the time Art cords. Artifacts use the resource. Let this. Hold up. It's this one. Time courts on the same line. So. Well, that still only gives me two. So. This doesn't count towards it. Blue and so orange each quartz different. has its own elemental value. The sum of the elemental values in a line are added together to check what arts the character is capable of using. Okay, so that. Oh my God, I we've been playing this game really wrong. Let's go here <laughs> and maybe let's be more intelligent about oh my god look at that oh my god she gets so much more oh <laughs> wow that's v, 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 v. you're the you're the goat you're the absolute goat <laughs> oh my god that's like why would i put poison on her i don't want to use poison but like giving her poison gives her so much Earth wall, earth guard, petrified breath. Like, de okay, okay. I'm getting it now. Oh my god, we gotta go back. I, was it up? <laughs> you said we gotta go back. Oh my god. Oh my That's god. That's crazy. And Dude, we're 18 so, hours and, in this game and I didn't know. Yeah. And what? you use the. How did you I use get the here? I'm, I'm so confused. I'm lost, dude. I mean, it's cool. You're probably about to find another factory and it, you so there's no missable like quartz, like every new Orbimit factory shop is always going to have all of the same things that you could. So that is not something you need to worry about. Oh, my God. I what I read. I feel so stupid. Have I been playing the game like at 10 times difficulty <laughs> because I haven't been using them? Oh, my God. I. I. Oh, my God. I haven't been using arts on like half the cast unless that boss or regular enemy had like a weakness to it <laughs> <laughs> will says 18 hours and counting <laughs> uh. oh my god dude wow that's man shout out to shout out to the six v's that's huge, dude. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I feel so... I have, like, a smile on my face. I feel so dumb. Yeah, I was uh, I was on a spoiler-free guide uh, for, like, 90% of this, and the guide sucked so bad that uh, it didn't really tell me, like, actually anything except for, like, wait, you're supposed to be able to maybe find some, something like this somewhere here. Uh, and it was like super vague. <laughs> so that's also kind of on me for being the guy in the chair, you know? It's like, I feel like the game brushed over it. <laughs> hey man, any of y'all got things you could sell? Me? Was this what I was supposed to talk to? 
Wow. That gamer intuition. Coming in clutch in some places, right. I guess. <laughs> in some places, I guess. So you're at the checkpoint. On the ruined side of the checkpoint, you'll find two hidden treasure chests. Will I? <gasps> I can rest. Okay. Yeah, they're hidden behind trees once you get past the checkpoint and on the ruined side of things. Okay. It's so nice and warm. Or mint stoves. Man. It's just like, I gotta go look back at that. I gotta pull that guide back up and see what these spells give me and what they do. <laughs> Everything's gonna make so much more sense now. Oh my god, that's it's hilarious. Like, it's like, as I've been upgrading and clearing up and creating new slots for them, I'm like, why are there two different branches and why aren't they, like, why don't they all just do the same thing? Like, what, what benefit does it make for buying this one versus this one? And it's like, well, you increase your number and get more spells. And now, now that I know that, I'm like, dang, I really wish I had increased my slots in a more effective way. <laughs> so yeah, you're about to get to a trail, a uh, crone trail after all of this. And you are not going to be able to move your camera angle. So I'm going to make sure to sh like, I'll, I'll try and guide you to where the chests are. Got it. But there's two. What's up, Holmes? Three. Look at this three, guy. Three, actually. Once you get to Menoria Village, there's another hidden chest. Saros is a cool name. It is. Oh, it's him. Is he going to be a, a part of our crew now? So does I wonder if each chapter we have a different crew. That's crazy. The prologue was just like these it. two. Chapter one had the other two. Uh, with yeah, us. I don't like Agate though. He's a douche. What? Why? He was mean. Shara, return to Roland. Womp womp. womp She's top womp. one. They're kind of built different. He's like, he's just like rude. But he's also like Reno. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's a bad joke, right? Cool. Nobody left. <clears throat> this. This guy, man. He's kind of like. He's not wrong. And I don't think I like that. Maybe that bandana is just a little too tight. <laughs> Interesting. Look, man, he's got a buster sword. He's got a bandana. He has a the Zack fair scar on his cheek. How am I not supposed to like him? <laughs> yeah, he's like, all right, I'm done talking. Honk shoe, honk shoe.
Everybody wants to be a master. Everybody wants to show their skills. Everybody wants to get there faster, make their way to the top of the hill. Each time you try. Gonna get just a little bit better. <laughs> Each day we climb. It's one more step one more up step the ladder. Up the ladder. <laughs> There's a whole new world. I'm sorry, he mentioned Tracy. <laughs> so I was like, no, I, that's okay. like, I really love the Johto Journeys theme. Uh, that might be my second favorite Pokemon opening, but maybe it's because I'm old. I feel that. Yo, new Devil Fruit rankings just dropped. Everybody, make sure you go check out that short on this channel that you're on right now after the stream. Or open another tab. I kind of like, I kind of like these guys. Uh, it's you know, private, private usher. usher. Daddy's home, <laughs> yo. It's crazy. <laughs> and uh, Cuttinger. That is, yeah, this is just a cool, like, so there's, like, a whole nother, like, like, we've seen, like, there's different, like, cultures that are represented in different towns and things like that, and we're, like, it feels like a different part of the region now. It's pretty cool. Oops. Looked off the game. Um, Tree is in his late 20s. I am in my early 30s. Hehehe. <laughs> But uh, he always likes to say every time I flex about how freaking old I am or say how young he is that we could have been in high school together. So it's not that big of a gap, but there kind of is. What was that? Listen, man, I say we like, oh. he would have been a senior the year I would have been a freshman. I would not have expected yeah. him to be friends with me. <laughs> like, it's, 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 that's, that, the age gap is still big enough, but we could have been in high school together. Yeah. I'm kind of old, Will. Uh, I've lived a, a a very, very long amount of time in it, it within my years, if that makes sense. Uh, like I was a restaurant manager for seven years straight, and I have over eleven years in the industry. You get really old, really working in a field. I'm just gonna be real. Oh wait, if I does this count towards both? I think no it does. Idea. I think it does. So like, yeah, because it has blue in both. So this counts towards both of these. Um. So if I give her movement one and then change this to eagle. Uh, that does nothing. OK, uh, let's try green shield and then evade. Will, what do you mean yeah. spoilers? Yeah, let's we're go. In a, we're in a we're in a three week hiatus, brother. <laughs> I'm just letting you know, like, there ain't going to be OP spoilers for a while, if that's what you're referring to. I was talking about the Devil Fruit Rankings. It's a short series that Straw Hat Lucas does here on the TLA channel, if that's what you're referring to. But no, yeah, I'm not a I don't read spoilers also. Hmm. Yeah, I, I feel Jeez, that Indiana man. Jones did say that, but uh, I've got quite some mileage, you know, <laughs> within my years. And yeah, I was told I was an old soul. I was a little five year old kid telling people to get off my lawn. So yeah, it was uh, been a rough journey so far. We'll just say that. <laughs> That's the wrong one. So I want this, this to be cracked, though. Yeah, did we just crack it though? Is that like what happened? Are you about to like supernova like god tier all over this game at this point? I I'm maybe. This is that. But I have nothing else that ups that, so there'd be no point in doing that. But 
I can give him. <laughs> really good it's gonna be a rough this. break. Uh, it's gonna be a rough hiatus for you, Will, if you're if you're jonesing for a chapter this early in. <laughs> but we got a couple more weeks, uh, brother. Sorry. Does it have to be I a think specific the, color? Uh, I think yeah. So like of a specific affinity. So like time helps with time. Like it shows you in the in the guide the color that it should be. Like, I think blue helps blue, obviously, and, like, yellow, yellow, red, red, stuff like that. Yeah, all of a sudden, I have a bunch of different things that cost them magic. Wow. Yeah, this is, a uh, this is huge, dude. Yeah, <laughs> these sound effects are crazy, too. <laughs> I still want to help. Yo, Will, I should say, uh, Jujutsu Kaisen spoilers are out. I don't know if Will's like super into JJK, actually. Oh? I talk to Will all the time. I feel like I should know that. This music is peak, dude. <laughs> yeah, he's it's our like new that boy. Will. Look at him. I wonder what level he is. Oh my god, he has double our health. Whoa! That's insane. Drops a massive boulder. Look at that. Oh, AOE. What's he got? A little bit of everything. Hmm. Wild Rage. Let's go. This sounds fun. It's a uh, support. Forceful yell, uh, craft points plus 50. Is it to everybody? Uh, it's a self, so Max probably not. Okay, max HP plus 30 or minus 30. So yeah. He's like an HP build. Okay. Interesting. Uh, I want to see what beatdown is, but I'm not going to waste his regular attack on it. Bonk. <laughs> Oh my god. Will. What do you do? Uh, he hit really hard. How much? I, I didn't see. Oh, I'll just watch on the stream. It was double. It was <laughs> but, like three uh, or something. Nice. Uh, Will, I will say JJK good. I'm not caught up, caught up. I'm at like 153 right now. So I'm like 100 or so behind. But um, check out season two. All the way up until the last three episodes, it's really good. First three episodes are especially really good of JJK uh, season two. Dude, I feel like my eyes have been opened. Like, this AOE stuff is lost. This is going to kill everybody. <laughs> I don't think I need to, though, but I'm going to do it just because there's a machine inside. I'm gonna have fun with my my arts. Uh, I'm also gonna use his beatdown on this guy just to see what it is. Holy shit! Okay, Omni Slash. We love that. Well, that guy's toast. He said your third eye is opened. That's crazy. That's, <laughs> That's what it feels like, man. A powerful tornado with whirling bits of rubble. Whoa. 
Dude, the range that that thing had. Did you see that? Yeah, it's the same as the uh, this rock holder that's about to drop and kill them all. Except for that one, so that's we can see the train. Dude. Yeah. The... I think it's really funny because oh before God, you them. were just like, before you were just like, I don't know if uh, if if um, if arts are ever worth it because there's like a the, the waiting period, and now you're just like arts are OP. Art's everything. Like, well, it's like uh, we haven't had an, we haven't had anything to deal. He's level twenty-two. He has eight levels above us. That's crazy. I told you you should grind. <laughs> uh, we haven't had any reason to use them, and now that I have AOE attacks in the arts, that covers the only issue that I've had in the game of what do I do when there's twelve of them. <laughs> Look at that. He has respect for us because he saw us in action now. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if he has like a Bardock story with that bandana. Am I imagining things or did he just give us a compliment? Yeah. He may have recognized oh, our ability. Maybe it's a lot more straightforward than we made him out to be. Dude, grinding is actually going to be so much easier now as well. <laughs> True. What are you talking about? This is the Crone Pass checkpoint. Huh? Hey! So it's not that big of a deal. It ain't that deep, Estelle. Come on. Cool. So open up your guide after you. Oh, true. Like, yeah, like yeah. So, look at some of the shit that you could like. What the things do? Volcanic rave. Oh. So that's okay. I didn't even think about having to combine. Lightning is four green, two yellow. Hellgate. So I just need five of that to get Shadow Spear. Yeah. yeah I don't even know. Do you even have five slots unlocked on the same line? Okay. So Death Blow is three, and then Blind is three. So Death Blow and Blind will get me that with just two. Or Action Three gets me that all on its own. Okay, dude. Oh my god. The, I feel like I, <laughs> I can see into the fucking matrix, man. I'm getting it. I'm getting it. <laughs> oh, we love this shit. <laughs> Rest requires a shit ton. Oh my god. And Forte. Yeah, Forte is uh, my birth last name, but I don't. I don't got that anymore. Fun fact about me. I thought you were talking about Josh for a second. I was like, whoa, that's crazy. Like, like the character. <laughs> no. Yeah. Hmm. Now I understand. But yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm looking at these. I'm like, hmm. Hmm. I can do things with this. Hmm. <laughs> Like, I want to see Saint requires so much. That is insane. La Tear is an AOE heal. A yo, and it's two blue and a yellow. Do I got that? Oh, my God. I Oh, that's not yellow. That's orange. That's one, so I'd have to do We're that. so cracked now, bro. Oh, my uh, God. Uh, what is <laughs> HP does one, so I don't have enough for that right now, but I will. <laughs> oh, yeah. It was He's okay. like, bro, when I get to a factory, yeah, it's over. 
It's Gojo ver I'm sorry, I never <laughs> what a what a weird thing to say. <laughs> Paperwork. Here you go, guy. Goodbye. To the beach, beach. Let's go. Get away. Ain't no way. You and Cody gotta be getting this song in my head. It. It's like always there in the back of my head, man. It's never left. It's too catchy. Okay. okay, Crone Trail, like, uh, you're gonna dip down, and then as soon as you start to go back up on the minimap area, there will be, it's, a uh, up, 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 up mm. on the minimap, there, behind this tree, somewhere. There's, like, a chest right around this area. This is a Let dead end, out. so it's probably down here. EP yeah. charge. Oh, wait, wait, wait. The situation seems familiar somehow. <laughs> the self-awareness and then you're gonna go quite a bit further and i'll let you know where the other one's at there's nothing really there's here in this alcove dot here that Is i know of a boss okay we're gonna Is save it? wow i can't believe all it took was one person going hey look at this, this. And, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay king scorpion and queen spicy Oh, you fought these things before. Remember? Yeah. Is it like the West Bose monster or some shit like that? No, it wasn't. It was like a long time ago. Well, they have uh, poison and petrify, I think, capabilities. I'm going to kill him. <laughs> Full stop. Oh my god, that's cracked. You can hit them both. You love to see it. And then he's Home gonna go solo. Rock. Dude, some dragons did that to me in Dragon's Dogma last night. <laughs> We're so powerful now, though. It's crazy. <laughs> Dang, that's wild. They didn't even get a turn. I got a lucky fang. Okay, well, cool. they were a red dot on the map, and now they are gone. Yeah. Okay, so now here, go up into that little alcove, like, right there. Yeah, there's a chest behind one of these trees up in there. EP charge. Ooh, ooh, uh, uh. Nothing to see here. Move along. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing to see here, folks. Uh, that is it as far as this map. Wait, what? Unless you want to fight that little. There's nothing oh, no, else. You go the other way. No, keep going. Go the other way. You're going the wrong way. Am I tripping? I didn't see a, a way forward. There's a way down. Oh, I didn't see this bridge. Yeah. Just pay attention to your mini map. Uh, couldn't be me. And now there is a there is a chest here as well. Ooh. 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 Oh wow. Pretty. It's the ocean. Yeah, I think I know. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, yeah, I put that together. You know. <laughs> That's hilarious, dude. No ship this time. That's cool. Have uh, have you ever seen the ocean? Like in person? Me? Yeah. Me? Yeah, dude, I live by the Gulf Coast. I've been in the ocean like multiple times. Well, I mean, the state you live in is a big state, so it's I feel yeah. like it's a fair no, I, um, a fair question I to lived, ask. 
Yeah, where I lived before I moved in like November is um so now this is not the town. Once you get into town, there's gonna be a treasure chest. Um this is just a stretch of scenery, I think. It's pretty though. I like it. Uh, I used to I used to live literally like um like maybe a twenty minute walk or like a like a three minute drive from the Gulf of Mexico itself. Whoa. Like South Southeast Houston area. I live. Uh, whoa! I killed it, and it got one more turn. You can see enemy on the map with the eagle eye quartz. I think. Oh wow! Well, That's nice. why. Okay, I was gonna say I've never noticed the red dots on. Oh, I just got jumped. I've never noticed the red dots on the map before. Uh, what's what are these guys? Well, they're weak to water. And I ain't got that, Chief. Um. I feel like I should see what they're capable of doing to me. But. No. Nah. If they get a turn. Uh, they will. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm a little too slow for that. Oh, yeah. I see that. Heal 200. I guess I could. No, we actually we don't want to do that. We just want Joshua to hit one because we don't want to lose the 10. Oh, they're squishy. We don't want to lose the multiplier on Estelle. Whoa. Yeah, wasn't that bad. God, what a cool move. Nice. Nice. I have extra. Nope. That wasn't so bad. Have you ever seen the ocean? Because I know you've seen like big ass lakes, but uh, have you seen the ocean? Oh, yeah. Uh, my. I grew up on the fair, so <laughs> the chest is as empty as your thieving heart. Uh, oh my god. <laughs> so, like, I, I grew up going around in the States. And whatnot. Heck, I actually, uh, when I was like four or five, I lived in Puerto Rico for like a full year. Oh. I guess that's kind of a fun fact. I don't re remember much of it, but you know, I was so young. Yeah, I don't remember much from when I was four or five. That's for sure. Oh my god, I went back the wrong way. Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy, Cody. Oh my god. Uh, water people is a Missouri thing. That's <laughs> first of all, so jot that down. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Go up into that little area. I did. That's where, the, that's where the oh, chest was. Okay, okay. okay, cool. So you got that. Yeah, that's what the those cool things were that I hit them with the big tornado. All right. Now we're talking. There's a lighthouse. Okay, I, I got to hit the village first. Now that I know how these gems work. When you come to the fork in the by road, uh, take the road with the Varin Lighthouse for the hidden side quest. He goes, fuck. <laughs> it's like, nah, nah. It's, I'll go back. I'll go back. I just... I mean, yeah, Estelle gets it. Right Civilization at last. Menoria. Say, Cody's really out here to just troll today. <laughs> He's wild in. Speak to the residents and make sure you collect their new recipes from the inn and tavern. Okay, cool. Zach was fired from his job in room. He's a first class soldier. That's what I've heard. Yeah. There he is. This boy just keeps doing squ if he just starts doing squats, I'm going to lose it. 
I don't think this place has an orbament factory, but we'll we'll see. This is the worst if it doesn't. Oh, orbital factory. No. Let's go. No, there's no color for it. Elder's house. Your name is Solomon. That's crazy. Solomon Judgment. I think they just told me. I know me that's to not. I know that's not what it's called. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. And that's the inn. So am I not actually here for the inn? I mean the inn will have like new oh, recipes. I'm halfway to Ron. That's what I'm doing. Yeah. Man. But the inn has recipes and you have an orbital factory and then there's a hidden quest at the lighthouse. All right. Well, no point in being here to the lighthouse. Did you not want the orbital factory? There there wasn't like there, there's no color oh, okay. for it on the map. Lame. Yeah, big sad. That's OK. Well, in for a penny, in for a pound. <laughs> We're not turning around. My favorite thing is like when I do a little circle, the people following me do it too. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it has the the village sounds. Music theme. You got there. My my, who have we here? Jay chilling. Being chilling. Bing chilling. Cool. Octogenarian. What? What are you talking about? Spirals like Junji Ito? Nah, man. It's the, it's the love of Gurren Lagon, my friend. <laughs> I would love to see Junji Ito draw like Gurren Lagon fan art. I bet that would look uh, sick. I think that just means like an old person, like octogenarian. I don't remember. Like, I mean, clearly it's something to do with like the number eight. So. He's 80 plus. Yeah, or like 80 to like 90 in that range. Use that brutish body of yours and show this monster what's what. Wow. All right, let's go beat some ass. Let's go. Back attack. And then you're like, surprise, that's my front. Like, no, <laughs> backslash. My God. Okay, so they don't like water, but. 580. You don't got none of that. Oh, okay. Is it this one? No. Joshua hit him it's out of range. You hit him. It's because you hit him. Okay, we'll just deal with the two that aren't damaged. Nah, I'll let them or all. Not. I'm going to let them all pile up. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, God. You did this. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> She is slow. I think I think she should heal. There's a turbo mode. She probably should heal. Oh, that's just not a lot of heal. We're good to go. Heck it. Oh, 
Oh. Oh boy. We are... Hmm. We're gonna do this one for the best, I guess. Uh, for the record, V, I am on... Oh. I was gonna say, I'm on the Steam version. There's totally a turbo mode. That's crazy. Okay, uh... Okay, what is... What's their health at? 85... Oh my god, that guy has so much health. Oh. Oh no! Cool, Josh solos. <laughs> and you have items. Well, we're gonna do this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All of you, get in. Get in the danger zone. <laughs> Wait. That no. just happened. Oh. Bro. <laughs> I thought he died. Fuck me, dude. I wish I could just alternate. Like, I don't want Josh to go before her. All right. No biggie. <sighs> That's just wasteful. Is it though? That hits the 10 times crit. But the other guys aren't going to be moved into that zone. Uh, um, you know what I want? V, is there any way for me to like move Josh like here and then hit this guy this way? Because I have yet to figure out how to walk him around the battlefields. Like, without using move. Like, I want to move and attack, but I feel like they just don't let me. I guess I'll move here. Only when the enemies are within your character's attack range, otherwise you have to maneuver and wait until your next turn to attack. According to Google. I literally just Google trails in the sky, move and attack. So you can only do that, like, whenever they're within your range of effect. God, with the That's vault. That crazy. is wild. <laughs> that is crazy in turbo mode. Okay, this guy's almost dead, yeah. Yeah. You Probably can alt the other yeah. guy. Or that. And this guy's at full health. I think I just hit this guy normally until he goes away. Oh, he's gonna attack and explode? 
Oh no, he's poisoned. You get a lot of shit from that. Wow. Okay. Uh, orb mint time. Yo, this theme slaps. Oh my god. And I can alt to speed up walking? Dude. Dude. Alright, where are we at? Where are we at? Man, I really do gotta be thinking about every battle. We're going to try petrification. I miss S. Charizard. Yeah, me too. And Olivier. They're the homies for real. Come on, petrify. Doesn't look like it's petrified. F in the chat. Oh, alt to speed up. Let's go. Who want? Oh, so if the target moves, the boulder drop moves with him. I thought it was going to yeah. be stagnant. And I was actually relying on it to not move. It gets crazy that they got like it really seems like they just got Johnny Young Bosch to say like four words <laughs> and that was like his whole role in this game. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, I guess it's like eight words because he has his his like crafts. You know what I mean? Nothing on this floor. Okay, so am, oh. I, am I supposed to be fighting everything or just whatever's I at think, the top? I think you're supposed to be fighting everything. Bro, it's like the Astral Observatory for real. Okay. So I think it's just those last two. That's not so bad. Preemptive. You can cook the recipes you've learned. Uh, so I haven't experimented much with that, but I bought a bunch of ingredients. <laughs> I'll have to do that after this fight. No, nah, ain't no way. This is so sad. <laughs> I guess it just hit the two that aren't damaged yet and let Josh focus fire on that other guy. Right? Yeah. There's a chance that he walks in. Yeah, he might walk in. No, he's not walking in. Yeah, yeah. that's why I was like, Estelle just gets to go right after. I think... 
I think Josh kind of just keep doing dual strike. It's filling itself, you know? Yeah. Okay. okay, so like I said, I haven't really experimented much with this. So, do I just... No, go to the recipes? Uh... These are ingredients. I don't... Do I just click this? It's that easy? I just haven't I think, messed around I think with it? So. Oh my god. You've actually made a recipe before. I think you just forgot. <laughs> Here's poison. Any of this shit let you res? Or is that only a revive bomb? I'm seeing movement up plus one and heal. Or strength plus 5% and heal. Some of this is kind of nice. Wait, hold on. French fries gives you more movement? Because I've had French fries render me immobile before. I don't know. Like, <laughs> is that what that was? Or is that just me? Uh, items. Healing. Yo, that restores craft points too. That's huge. It's gonna say. It. I gotta start messing around more with the recipes because I feel like they're doing a lot more than the stuff you buy at the stores. Yeah, like like I said, like tear bombs are like the least efficient way of healing from what I've read. I like how the wind sounds keep going. Yeah. For the normal amount of time. <laughs> like, this is the funniest thing to me. <laughs> um. I think Josh See, like, just hits one. Yeah. Olivier or S. Charizard could just, like, deal piercing damage to, like, all three of these, like, because they were lined up and shit. Oh my god, I'm I so dumb. Gang. You're right. Josh has that too. Josh has that on a move. In one of his oh. craft moves. <laughs> Bro. Oops. Alright, we'll go back down now. Oh yeah, testing out what the did it new say when you try to go? Yeah, what did it say when you try to go up to the top? Uh, There's like danger what? Authorized personnel only. Oh, okay. Dude. I cannot believe... I've been living without a turbo, eh, without a turbo button. <laughs> like, anyways, we're out. Peace. What? Okay. Dick. Dang. I'm not hearing it. Observe my mouth and mimic its movements. Is there anything else? we can do <laughs> that's crazy wow tell us more about this man crush of yours okay <laughs> <laughs> yo he was a real bracer. The only thing comparable is hair color. You're talking about his dad? Probably. Or her dad.
Get more Cassius lore. I thought they were talking about the redhead that was here beforehand. Or like before us. And I was like, I mean, if he really helped you, why is uh talking about why does he got problems? Yeah. Yeah, no, nah, Agate's a douchebag. He wasn't gonna be like polite to this old man, especially one who was so sassy. I think he was talking about Cassius. I got a divine blade. His name is like too close to that slur. We should well, I wanna call him Rock Boy instead, you know? I we can call him a gate. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I just I just dude. really want to avoid confusion, you know? Which I feel is a very yeah, valid um, take. I get you. You should definitely go to the inn, though. Pick up a few more of the recipes that they have there. Yeah, that's. I think that's where the story is taking me. Like, I have to go there. That's why I want to do the lighthouse could... first, just in case. Yeah. Oh, that's the other's house. And this is the inn. And a restaurant. Uh, let's talk. Okay, just kidding. Let's not talk. Oh, you're the restaurant guy. There we go. Die hard. Paella, I imagine is how that is pronounced. Ah, yeah, yeah. Where were the two L's? L's two, uh, two L's in Spanish make a Y. Ah, yeah, yeah. Like quesadilla. You don't say quesadilla, you know. What? It's not paella, it's paella. That begs the it's question. It's a rice dish. Do you think there's a Mexico? in this world oh my god <laughs> that's hilarious really but um yeah it's a rice dish it's really cool it's one of the, that and like risotto or like one of the only this is where it's not okay to wash your rice uh you always want to wash your rice unless you're making like risotto or paella because you want that extra starch to help thicken the as it you slow cook it I really like rice-based dishes. I love risotto and paella and like bibimbap and stuff like that. Like it's yeah, they they are really good. Rice is is up there. It's no bread, but it's up there. Don't I need any of these? <laughs> you picking up that fresh herb, dude? That's crazy on stream. <laughs> you know it, man. <laughs> you got me. What can I say? Oh, general good story. So Ayo. you're going to love this because before we get to the next part, uh, we're going to have to go to the beach each. <laughs> Huge. We love that. Beach um, episode, guys. I feel like I shouldn't buy too many. Maybe four. Four total, so three. I think ingredients are the way to go, man. Bing bong indeed, Cody. What? I was at the inn. What do you mean? What do you mean? You gotta talk to people. We're just passing through. <laughs> I'm going to start using the space bar because like when I lose track of my mouse, I'm like, am I still clicked on the game? And I worry that I'm going to tab off. Smoked ham in the seafood paella. I've learned. You got you got it. <laughs> yep. So proud. Herb tea. 
It's my speciality. Sweet. So, back to the windmill. Whoa, who are you? Oof. Is this? Ten-year-old boy wearing a cap. She looking for Ash Ketchum? <laughs> Apparently, happy birthday, Kingdom Hearts 1. Big true. Uh, you know, since we got into this game from Final Fantasy 7 and talking with uh, King Recon, I want to say that the a few years ago, Kingdom Hearts and Final Fantasy 7 did like shout outs to each other for their anniversaries. So there is a image that is officially like from Square of Cloud doing the Kingdom Hearts 1 pose in front of the Heart Moon. And alternatively, there is one with Sora doing the, like the Buster Sword over the shoulder pose. Uh, I don't think it's actually in front of Midgar, but it might be. That's crazy. I think it's really cool. Yeah. Kingdom Hearts just kind of like, especially with like what Rebirth has done and introduced conceptually. Kingdom Hearts is just like it's kind of like when you talk about Gurren Lagann how you're just like all you know all potential realities are canon and stuff like that and I'm just like yo so does this mean that in Kingdom Hearts like, I don't know you know what I mean it just gets it it's it's crazy to think about because Rebirth just yeah cracks some shit wide open <laughs> I gotta say, the people that are like, oh, uh, Final Fantasy VII is doing what Kingdom Hearts did. It's overcomplicating. It's like, first of all, Kingdom Hearts has never had multiple timelines, so chop that down. <laughs> like bringing in time travel, but not bringing in alternate timelines. It's very, uh... I don't know. I don't understand why people think that it's complicated. Like every other cutscene oh, I mean, in Kingdom is. Hearts, it's not. Every other cutscene is spent shoving the the lore and world building down your throat. Like it is so spoon fed to you. The only reason I think someone who has actually played the games wouldn't get it is if they skipped games or if they weren't no, paying but attention. It's not the a lot of the issue is not that it's that people misinterpret like i know there is an issue with that apparently but it's not the main core of it. the fact that it is so convoluted is why they have to shove it down your throat every other cutscene is because there's so much to get through does that make sense like i think that that's like a lot of people's beef with it i am not somebody who has that personal gripe but i recognize that that is a thing I don't think that makes it complicated. I, I think that makes it a lot, but not necessarily complicated. Whereas like Remake and Rebirth is complicated because we don't have answers and everything's open ended and like it's it's different. Anything that needs that level of exposition is complicated. It just because it's like, it, you know, it's linear doesn't or it's not necessary. I'm not saying it, it's linear, but like like that's like the like, I think the discrepancy is that like, but I do think that it's absolutely complicated. Anything that requires that degree of exposition is complicated. And as somebody who has played only a select few Kingdom Hearts games, but has seen like multiple other people's like who I trust the opinion of like and and like heard them like explain it to me and things like that. It's absolutely complicated, but I don't see that as a bad thing, whereas I know a lot of other people do.
I guess the disconnect between us here is I think it can't be complicated because it explains it like in game like they, they leave I no think... room for complication or I maybe complication is the correct word that I'm looking for. Yeah, then. It, I think that if you have to explain it to the degree that they have, it is inherently complicated. I don't know that because look at like Final Fantasy was brought up or like Metal Gear Solid is complicated. No, I get that, but that's that's more convoluted, I guess, which or like it, or cryptic about like its delivery. But I get that. It's, so you can get a book on quantum mechanics and this book can explain it to you perfectly. That doesn't mean quantum mechanics is not complicated just because it's explained perfectly. There's still a lot of explaining, which means it's complicated, right? It's like about how cryptic it is with things like with kingdom hearts it's more it puts it you know on its sleeve type of thing and it it knows that these things aren't going to make sense unless it explains it so it explains it with uh rebirth that's not the case and you're left dangling on a lot of things and i can understand that discrepancy but kingdom hearts is absolutely complicated <laughs> I don't know. I was like six years old. I played it and I understood it. You know, like. Yeah, that's because it's explained to you, but it, it, there's still a lot of explaining that has to be done. Cody this says, so since Dark Souls doesn't explain its plot to you, does that make Dark Souls not complicated? Uh, well, Dark Souls explains its plot to you in the opening cinematic of each game. That being said. Hmm. I think Dark Souls is. I guess what what no not kill more bosses it's it talks about how Gwen fought the dragons and brother he's baiting you up. <laughs> I'm just letting you know right now he's baiting yeah Cody's been like that all stream unfortunately wait that's cell did I miss something was I not supposed to okay It's like, I feel that, oops, uh, it decomplicates it because it explains it to you. I mean, inherently, I can understand that that retrospectively, but the sheer amount of explaining that has to be done about certain circumstances leads to the fact that this was complicated just because it's no longer complicated to you because you're on one side of it doesn't mean it wasn't complicated in the first place. Does that make sense? Like, if it wasn't complicated, it wouldn't need explaining, like, it, inherently. Well, that's... I think I disagree with that sentiment, like, at its core, because it's like, when I learn how to play chess, I have to have it explained to me, but that doesn't mean it's, like, complicated. With that, that chess like, is extremely complicated. It requires supercomputers that are still learning to this day that can calculate thousands more moves per second than a human mind could ever. Chess is extremely complicated. I mean, it can be deep, but it's not complicated. It's like if does that mean inherently everything that has an explanation to teach you how to do something uh, is complicated because it needs explaining? To a degree. 
complicated isn't like a zero or 100 like you know like you it, there are degrees of complication it's like it's, it's, if someone it's a pretty has to simple teach concept, me how to bro. play tic-tac-toe i have to be explain how to play tic-tac-toe does that make it complicated you know is tic-tac-toe is a solved game but if you don't understand that there are ways to always win if you're going second then yeah it can be complicated to individuals because not everybody gets that and that does need to be explained but tic-tac-toe is a solved game whereas chess is inherently like infinitely more complicated than it yeah you're supposed to go to the orphanage and hit the beach you're done in the village Okay, I was still looking for that guy. Yeah, what? Joshua says I can't. What the heck? I'm looking for the kid because Estelle lost her racer badge. But I've I've talked to like everyone. Brother. Off to the She's east. She's Mother Teresa. Yeah. So now I can go east. That's I, crazy. <laughs> wow. Okay. I, I yeah. Talk to he, her he's first. like I talked to everyone except for that one person. So go to the beach straight down. And then go. Hey man, over I don't want to be at the beach. Oh, he's so nah, big. No, you, nah, you want to be at the beach. There's two treasure chests down there. Yeah. Am I gonna get jumped? I feel like you tell me about know. the chest, but you don't tell me if I get jumped. Because <laughs> uh, I've been a spoiler free guide. Um, there's also one all the way down in the water. Go straight down, 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 all uh... the way down in. And then to the right. Treasure chest. Oh Just my fight God. that guy. No, <laughs> look at him. He, why bro? not? He chonky. That, he, you've taken on bigger chunks than that. That's fine. Just fight him. I want to make it to the town so I can get the uh, new orbaments. I almost called them rocks. Like goals. Oh gosh, it's like I don't know. I brought a tic tac toe because I figured it's easily explained. Uh, I'm more so referring to like. It as a whole, I regardless what of what saying, the example but is. But like it can still be complicated to individuals and need further explanation. So yes, it is it can be complicated. Am I saying it is to me? No, especially now that I know that the game is solved. But to somebody who doesn't know that, yes, it is complicated and it needs explanation. You can't just put a little hashtag in front of somebody and be like, okay, let's play. They need to know the, the rules. And so there is a level of complication to it. I'm not saying it's a high level of complication, but it exists. That's wild to me. That feels like a wild take. I mean, tic-tac-toe is like also just a really simple example, but it, it's not simple for everybody. I'll sue you for child abuse. That's this, crazy. This guy. <laughs> No shot if that bird just took it. agree with Vex because y'all are just gonna say I'm trolling I mean I didn't set that precedent <laughs> you came in here on that timing brother but if you agree cool but 
I just I have issues if, with it because that means oh, everything yeah. ever is complicated inherently. And I'm not I everything hold, ever. Something it, it just I depends on the person that. is what I'm saying. It de- no, you can hold issues with it because you're a person who understands it. You need to understand that there are people who don't. I'm not talking about any one thing in specific. I'm talking. Like, I'm not either. Term. I'm talking about everything, and everything depends on the person who and their level of understanding. It doesn't have just because it's not complicated to you does not mean it's not complicated in general or to a lot of other people and the majority. And I'm pretty sure if you ask the majority of anybody who's ever played any Kingdom Hearts game at all, it's complicated. I feel like the only people's who opinions matter are the people who have played the whole compilation. I feel like that's elitist, but okay. Mother no, Teresa is crazy. Because if if <laughs> you play if you play just three and go, what's going on? It's like, well, I mean, it's Kingdom Hearts three, buddy. Come on. Like, that's your own fault. No wonder you're lost. I mean, that that just leads further into it being complicated. Because you started in the middle of the, or sorry, at the end of the series. Because that's, that's I mean, the I'm not even saying the, that like I get saga. it like treat I try like I'm, I understand. But what I'm saying is that it, like it's it is complicated. Like it just because you are only accounting for the opinions of people who have digested every single piece of content and have been on the other side of it doesn't mean that for people who are not yet on that other side that it's not complicated. But you're only accounting for like the opinions of people who are in the same shoes as you. Well, I did say at the beginning that the people who don't get it and believe it's complicated. And what I'm saying is right now is that there are varying degrees of complication that individual things can have for individual people with different levels of understanding. So you're like so that that feeds into what I'm saying is that yes to you and to the people in your criteria that you are putting forth that demographic it's not complicated and what i'm saying is to many 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 other people it is well the solution is to just play the other games i don't see the problem it's like reading half a book i never said i I took it I never said I took problem with it, but there are people who do. The simple fact that you have to be spoon fed so much for it to actually make sense throughout the the cutscenes and the storylines and things like that speaks to the level of complication. Depends on what kind of baked goods. <laughs> also, uh, I cannot believe that they they went around Mother Teresa with Matron. I Matron. really don't understand. Yeah, that's crazy. Like Mother Teresa's wild. She's a Pokemon trainer, dude. You got the voice of all things. Did you watch the uh that movie? Oh man, I don't remember what it's called. It it was I don't think it was the remake of the first movie. But like Pikachu dead ass speaks to Ash. No. Oh yeah, it's something. Like English, like full on speaking. It's something, man. It sounds cursed. It's like <laughs> one of them is about to die off, or something. And, and yeah, I fell like, off of Pokemon. Okay. 
I fell off of Pokemon so hard after Diamond and Pearl, and even before Diamond and Pearl, I was, yeah. But Diamond and Pearl was goaded. I think the last movie I like have clear recollection of was like Destiny Deoxys. That's what. And then I fell off of all Pokemon ridiculously hard after playing Black and White 2. And like I played through X and Y and Oros. And Oros was kind of cool, but I wasn't a fan of the Mega Evolution mechanic. And then uh, X and Y was just very mediocre, in my opinion. There were some cool things. Yeah, I feel like Gen 4 was uh, definitely a peak for Pokemon and Gen 5 wrote it, and then Gen 6 started trailing downwards, and I feel like we've been at a valley for a while. Yeah, like, I I actually didn't like Gen 4 at all, uh, comparatively to Gen 5, although some mechanics were good. Gen, but Gen, Diamond and Gen 5 was... You just said... What? No, I'm talking about Diamond and Pearl, the anime, because oh, we were talking I'm, about movies. I'm talking about the games. <laughs> no, well, we were talking about movies before, and so that's what I was referring to. And then I started speaking on the handheld. Okay. Yeah, so like Diamond and Pearl, uh, the anime, was, the uh, games were one of my least favorite in the Pixel era. Uh, but five was the absolute peak for me. I, five was so good, like especially like uh, the second edition, best post game in any handheld. It's so good. I know it's a very hot take that I say that Gen 4 is like the peak, but I'm not just referring to that game. Like, look at all of the spinoffs no, that were coming out at that time and whatnot. And the uh, the remakes, like that was uh, that was like a really good time for yeah. I I get, it. but for me, like Diamond and Pearl were, they were not it. Platinum was okay. It was better for sure, but. Uh, black and white and black 2 and white 2 were absolute freaking perfection in my opinion when it came to what I wanted out of a they're so good I think my only complaint with that generation is the map layout like going in a big circle made it really obvious that it was a video game <laughs> and we're going from town well, to they town. changed it yeah, they changed it a bit in uh, black, uh, black 2 and white 2, so I liked that, but I can get that. The region design was really great. It's just, yeah, it was clearly um, a bit on rails, you know, but like I really liked that, like pretty much everything about Gen 5 was like in the handheld was amazing, except I thought that the like I really missed some of the apps that you had in Gen 4, which I think was the best thing, specifically oh the Poke God. Radar. Yeah, for the Shiny Poke Hunter. Radar in Gen 4 was so goaded, and we lost that completely in Gen 5, like pretty much, and went back to like a like kind of like a shittier version. Like, but like then like the dowsing machine was really cool. I like there were like individual mechanics that I thought were really good in Gen 4 and in Gen 6 that we did not have in Gen 5. But outside of those small individual mechanics, Gen 5 was just strictly superior it, it, as far as like an enjoyability and gameplay. If we did have those kind of mechanics, oh man, it would just it'd be no contest. But um, I don't know. I played a shit ton of Gen 3. I played a shit ton of Gen 4 and I played a shit ton of Gen 5. I played one and two upon release. But I didn't play anywhere near as much Gen 1 or 2 as I did 3. 3 is what I have by far the most time with. That's valid. Oh. Wait. I just popped my back like 12 times. That was crazy. You ever popped your back so hard that your vision starts to strobe? A little. Whoa. <laughs> Every <laughs> now and right, then. I'm, I'm back. I'm I'm back. Oh my god. Um, but yeah, I think that before you advance too much further into Ruan, we are at four hour mark. So if you yep. were wanting to wrap up soon, I was thinking, there are uh, three treasure chests on this little 
path that you're on, though. I'm on one of them right now. I was met with monsters. I was thinking after yeah. we hit the uh, town, we can call it. Good thing these guys aren't that tough, but there sure are a lot of them. <laughs> Not anymore. God. <laughs> Yeah, honestly, shout out V, dude. Fuck, man. <laughs> it's like all of a sudden the game became 10 times easier. That's that then. Let's move out. That was a battle suit. No! Ah! You gotta fight this big old hoss. <laughs> Um. Whoa. Dang, that's crazy. Let's get out of here. <laughs> well, homegirl got a lot of HP at least. Uh, oh, you said there are three chests? There's another one. Less. Okay, so yeah, I only um, found two. Let me look. Um. There's a secret spot um, up by the other chest that you found, I think. Like. What is this? Am I supposed to be here? Is this the secret spot? No, I don't think so. What the? I'm so confused. What just happened? Skull daggers and a torn map. Interesting. What it, what just happened? Uh, <laughs> was this was this what we were supposed to find? Like, um, so not in the water. Are you on a uh, gull seaside way? Like. Yes. And I'm over look here. Look at the mini. <laughs> oh, okay, man. hold on. Look at the look at the mini map. Go up. This is not the same map that I'm looking at. Hold on. So this is straight out of Minoria Village. Uh, I think it's the second one. Okay. Um, I think if you go back to the first map, there's like chests there. Um, I I don't know. I'm lost. How the f did you get there? That was crazy. I just followed the coast. Okay. Is this the map you're looking at? Yeah, so did you go in that little nook right there? I think so. I'm pretty sure I found all it the- should be. I grabbed all the chests that were here. Yeah, because that's- I got swarmed by monsters. Wait, what? This is a different one. Oh, you did- Yeah. So... I'm so Oh, lost. you're about to- you're about to get ambushed, I think. Oh, yeah, look at that. Holy shit. Oh, man, I could have just left him. His name's Jimmy? Jimmy. Okay, uh, heck. Oh, they're so slow. This shit is just so catchy. I agree. Oh my god, that's so much damage. So I fully expected them to move fast. Oh, I forgot I can fast speed up. I expected them to move faster. Yikes. Yikes. Josh is within one shot territory. He needs to get healed. Straight up. Hmm. Oh, man. 
Okay. So if I said there's sh there's shining palms on one of these beaches as well, according to V. Oh bless. Uh, dang. Well, that just means I don't have to go all the way back for the other ones after I hit the town. I can come back here for them after I get the uh, yeah. Orbermints. Bless. So that's the chapter two ones. Um. There's no way he can hit her, right? She's doing so. She's healing. Oh, <gasps> huge! Oh my god! <laughs> the goat. That's crazy. That's. I was like, what a gamble! What a gamble! All right, we're good to go. I thought I was done for this this time, bruh. What are you doing? Shit happens in like every day or something. <laughs> what? OK, bye, Jimmy. Good luck. Have fun out there. Why would you leave this kid alone? <laughs> like, no. Oh. Um I hate this game, man. <laughs> I'm so sick of monsters appearing. Nah, you love this game. <laughs> so hold on, hold on. If you put the tornado behind them, does she go before Josh or no? Yeah. Because it would knock them into his Josh's already procced like thing, right? So if you'll notice, all of them are going to move beforehand. So I'm using this to cover more spaces to allow them to walk I into my you. aerial. I get you. I'm going to place it there so I don't knock the other guy out of it. Oof. Oh, and speed up. Look at that. Wow. 191. <laughs> I have so many, it's fine. Bro. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> Get out of here. Give me my chest. Yeah. And he learned taunt. Let's go. A ruby talisman. That's something. Probably prevents a status condition like a lot of the other ones. It makes defense fire based. Oh, that's kind of cool. It's a fine addition to my collection. I also have one that makes defenses water based. And earth, I believe. Or no, it's earth and wind. Earth, wind, Wait, fire. OK, I think there's a third treasure chest on this map. Uh, you got. Oh, no, you got all three. Yeah. And then I got two from the next one. Nope, there's the third one. Down by that big old boy. Big boy. Big chonkin' boy. My god. I'm like, <laughs> I wince every time I open a chest, man. Somehow, like, nine monsters popping out is worse than a mimic, you know? <laughs> That's crazy. There's bombs? I see him! Hello! Look at them. Little boys. Um, oh, look, you can walk down there. So, I'm actually not going to because 
I can't get past this guy without fighting him, which means it's a boss. And I might need the things for him. Oh my god. Okay. Wild. Uh We're gonna do this and hope for the best. The goat. Okay. Joshua. Homie is at 15. We're gonna hit him and hope he doesn't explode. Bless. Oh, thank you. Thank goodness. <laughs> strike all right definitely that keeps him back so he can't hit yeah yeah and then we dual strike and he goes away look at that okay I'm gonna walk back and I'm gonna try and do the shining palms yeah and uh, use arts, not crafts. Oh, it's arts, not crafts. Okay. Yeah. I love arts and crafts. Where's the dudes? Hey, where'd he go? No, nah, go back. This is the same place you came. Yeah. Should be chilling on the beach right here somewhere. Unless it... Oh, yeah, there it goes. It's playing in the waves. Uh -huh. Wow. That Crazy. guy was like, nah, -uh, not having it. Okay. S craft when 200 is much stronger. Okay. Oh no. Okay. It was S craft. Yeah. These. This is gonna be too slow. Um. I think the best bet is to try and hit it, and then alt. This guy. Uh, you're only gonna get one of them, I think. No, because alting pops one. Oh, yeah, I see what you mean. Um, Because even if I try and do one of these to target, this guy's going to get to go before me and he's probably just going to run. So I'm going to put my eggs in this basket. The hit, I miss. Nah. S craft. Think, yeah. Oof. Not even close. Yeah. Gives Apparently there's a, a recipe that gives you strength, yeah. Well, I'm right before the town anyway, so...
Crazy. Dang. I don't think this is going to do it, but I have no reason not to try. Yeah. Okay. Shit just ran. Well, now you know where they're at. You're right before the town. And yeah, uh, when you get into the town, uh, homegirl at the at the guild is just going to tell you to kill time before you can register and you'll have to talk to people around and whatnot. I think just saving like right here is probably fine. Wait, what? Hold on. This is south. Uh, yeah, if you want to want to outro like we're at the town here, I think. Yeah, and I, I think it's like tiny cutscene, and then it, like, then I think we're done. But yeah, it's been uh, really interesting. We did in fact finish chapter one finally, <laughs> uh, almost nineteen hours into the game, and at room, um, and we've thanks to V in the chat, absolute goat you are, learned about turbo mode and. Uh, many other awesome mechanics in this game just got a lot more cracked potentially um it's been a lot of fun cannot wait for next thursday where we'll be doing this again if you wanted to interact with tree and myself you can catch the links to both of our individual discord servers and channels and platforms and whatnot in the description uh, you could also see us uh, in a One Piece D&D &D game hosted by the lovely SSJ8 Cody in the chat right now um, on SSJ8 Cody's Twitch, twitch.tv slash SSJ8 Cody. And uh, yeah, where me and Tree are both players with in a world that Cody runs. I also run my own One Piece D&D &D stuff on my channel. And I also do collab streams on break weeks. And we're in a th three consecutive break weeks. I'm going to be knocking out three streams with goats on my channel. This week's guest will be King Recon himself. He's coming over onto the Vexus D Lurking Legend channel. And I'm going to build him a One Piece D&D &D character live. So make sure you're there for that. Make sure you also check out, uh, you know, group two, the Scarlet Pirates every single Tuesday on my channel as well. And then uh, Tree, I understand that you have just started uh, playing Rise of Ronin on stream on your Twitch, twitch.tv slash Tree the Wolf, right? Yeah, uh, <laughs> I was supposed to be playing it a little bit more, but I've been sick uh, and like insomnia has been rough. But yeah, hopefully ready to raring to get back onto that. I also have... <laughs> the full intent to get back on Zelda streaming on Mondays, but it's been it's been really rough with, uh, you know, life and other and scheduling conflicts, you know, but we're uh, hopefully looking to get back on that. That being said, this is consistent. Uh, if not there, I will always be here on Thursdays unless something else comes up, I guess. Well, it's just, <laughs> knock on wood, I suppose. But yeah, uh, having a lot of fun. The next Zelda game I'm looking to play is Link's Awakening. I'm still deciding if I want to do the remake or the original because, you know, the original captures a very different vibe than uh, what the remake has done to it, unfortunately. That being said, the remake is still good. And then, of course, Rise of Ronin in every other day that I stream if and that then, happens and then after you're done with that Final Fantasy 8 no I'm, I'm trolling but um, but hopeful I'm hopeful because uh, <laughs> that shit will be goaded we'll see but yeah it's um, eight always and fun vibing trigger. yeah absolutely yeah they, they need to be very high up on the list but it's always fun vibing it was cool crashing uh, Sky Bandit hideout figuring out more about Cassius today uh, and the divine blade. Um, I'm a little bit upset we didn't learn anything more about Josh's backstory. Like we, like, you know what I mean? Like, uh, cause we got, we kind of got that whenever Estelle went fishing. But uh, really excited to see where the story goes now that we're in Ruan and uh, hype for next Thursday when we hit you guys with part four, um, and maybe get through most of chapter two. Uh, yeah, can't wait. Part four. We miss you, S Charizard. <laughs> <laughs> is that the title <laughs> it, it might be it might be anyways and then dot 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 in parentheses dot 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 and olivier <laughs> <laughs> yeah. all right have oh a wonderful goodness. day everybody peace peace